Hey all, J-Man here. I just want to tell you about BeardedShirts.com. It's a great place to get a lot of cool superhero shirts and other merchandise. You can scroll. They've always got sales on. As you can see, they've got these really cool print all over shirts, which I really love. That's Eddie, the founder of the site. And if you're looking for stuff, all you got to do is you click on the search here. And you can type in all over. And that's going to show you the all over prints, which are really, really cool. Look at that. You got Legion of Superheroes, you got Brave and the Bold, you got JSA, you got Superman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, all kinds of stuff. So check out BeardedShirts.com. I don't know why I was muted there. I should have been unmuted. Uh, hello, Legionnaires. Welcome to episode three of Fantastic Fridays. Uh, we're covering another four issues of the Fantastic Four, Jack Kirby's run only. So 102 issues and six annuals. Today, we're covering issues 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to have Namor. We're going to have the Impossible Man. We're going to have Doctor Doom switching bodies with Reed. And we're gonna have the Incredible Hulk. Have you heard of the Incredible Hulk? He's this really, he's this really big, huge gray guy that he turns into the Hulk. Oh wait, no, sorry, that was only the first issue. Uh, no, we've got the Green Hulk, and he transforms the Hulk by standing on a weight machine to test his weight. And every time he goes on a on a scale, uh, he turns into the Hulk. So it's a bit weird, but we're gonna talk about it. So before we get started, let us of course talk about what's going on this week, Monday. We are back with the Legion live stream, and uh, there's going to be some definitely some uh, wacky ones <laughs> on Monday, especially that first one. That that's a really weirdo uh, one. Starts off good and then it kind of has a weird ending. So that's going to be Monday every uh, three Mondays of the month, and then Tuesday. Season three of Transformers. We are starting season three. We're going to do the first 11 episodes of Transformers season three. We're also going to talk about Scramble City, which we should have watched prior to the movie. We're not actually doing the movie because Sean and I did a massive live stream, which is, which is in the Transformers playlist. We did a big live stream talking about the movie, which we both love. I saw it in the theater when it came out on opening night, got a poster don't have that poster anymore but i love that movie i've probably bought it on every format you could imagine multiple times on the same format and bought the soundtrack a few times as well because i kept upgrading that so there you go in may where there's a 40th anniversary uh special screening in cinemas only may 15th sean and i are going our seats are g1 and g2 so we got the perfect seats and uh we're going to the first show and it's going to be uh, a cool like uh, table read there's going to be um, showing they're going to show the first uh, four episodes on the big screen. That's going to be really cool. So uh, excited to talk about that. That'll be a lot of fun. All right, and let's thank the Legionnaires. These are the channel members. So Dan, uh, Sean, Stephen, and Clobby, who you've seen all the time. Brennan, uh, Cliff, who joins me on the Dazzler streams. We have a lot of fun on those Dazzler streams. Um, RR and Philip. And Philip, I've uh, I've got your uh, uh, request. Uh, so I will pass that along. And uh, so that will be for the May uh, for the May channel membership giveaway. Uh, June, we're going to reset. And uh, if I get any more members, that person will automatically win. But if I don't get any extra members, I'm going to put you guys back in rotation. So we're going to go from there. But if you do want to join, um, there is a join button. And there's only one tier right now. And uh, if you join as a member, you will get a shirt from beardedshirts.com. Uh, and once all the members have one, we put it into rotation so you get more. So you can have shirts forever. I've got so many from Bearded Shirts, I literally do not know what to do with them at this point anymore. And I, and I feel bad wearing them all the time because they're very good quality. So I don't want to wear them out, I especially don't want to wear out my Superboy shirt, which I don't have in the background. Usually I have it in the background there. Um, but anyway, let's bring in... Uh, the Legionnaires for this uh, uh, for this uh, live stream. Hey, what's up? hey, Ooh. what is going on? Just going <clears throat> for four, <laughs> four, four life. Oh, 
yeah. That, that's all not more. <laughs> that's all not. <laughs> they just that's said all. that just to rhyme. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as bad as the Wildcats. They're good against oh. evil. Wildcats. I thought you loved that song. I do love it. They, they've got invincible power. It's like they do. They are they in, invincible? In, in, invincible powers? Is that I what? think that's what it says. They've got invincible. Well, why, power. why would that be? I, I don't know. They have invincible. Sean, you dealt the Wildcats. That's they're, that's they're good against evil. It's like you're just. Yes. Together. Wasn't that good? That, they're good against evil. They're good. Um, you know what's good against this? You know. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Good is good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's bring in uh, our our uh, our expert, our FF FFX FFF no fantastic. How about fantastic Fr fantastic four Friday expert FFFX? Let's bring him in. It's clobbering time. <laughs> hey. What? I don't know any experts, but I'll I'll, I'll fill in for him. Experts. We're gonna do an X Men stream when this is all oh, said yeah. and done. And call it experts. Experts, the experts. Okay. <laughs> it works for me. Uh, oh, let's say hi to the chat. We got lots of people in the chat. Let's say hi to them. FK, yes, you're here from the beginning. Fantastic. FK. Play. In 3D. In 3D. 3D. That's about as 3D as it. You don't want it. You don't want it any more oh. 3D than. You no, know, we certainly don't want it any more 3D than this. Okay. The SCD, like 3D houses, Brutus is like. It's in 4D. 4D. <laughs> This this stream is in, uh, what did they say? Uh, three B three beers and it looks good. Remember they yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three B three beers and it looks good. I still say four D. You ever see the, that movie, The Four D Man? One of my favorite science fiction movies. No, I will watch it though since you're yeah. saying it's Robert Lansing from the fifties. Great movie. The Four D Man. That's the Four D Man. Um, is a science. Um, I found it. Science. Oh, I know it. It can walk through it. things. Yep. Yep. Place I know Gary it. Seven from Star Trek. Wow, awesome! That's, that's I will definitely watch that. You ever see that movie? Great movie. Yeah. You know what movie I saw the other night um, mm -hmm. at Steve's place? Went to Steve's last night. We watched. They call me Trinity. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, Terrence Hill. Oh, it's great. It's great. Well, it's great. <laughs> then there was uh, Trinity is still my name. Oh. Yes, I, I, I know. Trinity is still my name. But you know what? And I love Terrence Hill. He made one even better than those Trinity movies. It was just on oh. the same vein. Have you ever seen My Name is Nobody? Yes. Oh, I, yes. One I think of my all-time favorite movies. Him and yeah, yeah. Henry Fonda. Yeah, that, that's an awesome movie. Yeah. Now, J-Man, here's a bit of trivia. The last uh, issue of Gunslinger Spot. Yes. No, no. I, yeah. Okay. So I wanted to say that because Chris was here. So Chris has a show us what you got every Wednesday. Make sure you're subscribed to, to Comic Vet. Um, so every Wednesday... Um, Select uh, select individuals. I'm included in that uh, very high uh, tier of uh, some very high caliber of selection. No, but you you show us what you got and so and I missed and, and somebody had shown the gunslinger cover. I wanted so badly and I missed that episode. I missed appearing on that. I wanted to say like, oh, that's the that's the. Yeah, freaking I don't think a lot of people got that. No, I don't think they got that at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did you know that, Clobby? Gunslinger Spawn copied the poster for They Call Me Trinity and put Gunslinger Spawn. Know, right? Yeah, yeah where it's exactly the cot that's attached to the back of the uh, the horse. Yeah. He's like he's like that. He's like that or whatever. He's got the hat over top and his shoes yeah. are off and everything. It's so he's sleeping. Cool. Terrence Hill was awesome. I would see all of his movies as a kid when they were showing those there in the seventies, <laughs> starting with the Trinity films. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Terrence Hill was great. And he played hey, Sarah, he played, and he played Super Cop. Yeah. Who else we got? Classic comics. What's going on, man? Oh, Bobby is here. Say hey. hello, Bobby. Uh, Jimmy, can you just call me? Tim? Yes, Tim. I've got Tim. Right. I can't show you Tim because these Tim. two naysayers will get upset. What? Uh, I, 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 I've got a Tim. Uh, I've got a, a Tim Funko that came with uh, that came with the rabbit. Oh, who would uh, get upset? Upset? You two naysayers. Who's gonna get upset? <laughs> I never say nay. You know how you can call it naysayer. You, 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 you guys are you say the word nay. I never say it. I'm never saying I say no. the nay. nay. <laughs> I never call you me. Mortal. We are the knights to say nay. Yeah, the, the, you're the knights to say <laughs> me. Yeah, no, I'm going to say, well, you could say knee sayers. Uh, so, Chris, this one is playing. So, it's not playing in too many theaters. Um, this one is Winston Churchill VIP. So, Winston Churchill VIP, it's playing on three nights. Um, you should still be able to get tickets. Um, it might be a little yeah. far for you to drive down. It's a bit far for Sean. He's Sean's gonna like I'll drive us from my place because oh, yeah. even from I'll my place, it's a little. 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be worth it. Uh, RR, man, thank you. Under my message, RR. Reason. Bad guys wear green. I do love green. That's yeah, my do. favorite color. Even though all my channel stuff is blue, <laughs> my green yeah. is. <laughs> um, that that that. There, I've said I said I said that three times fast. That that that. That's from a movie. I didn't make that up on my own. Mm -hmm. NWO, yes. DX mentioned the same minute, yes. NWO, DX, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Patty Duke, yeah. Patty Duke. First show was weird. I tried to watch it been... on the days. Of, huh? What was that? Patty Duke. It's in that film too. Patty Duke was in in which film? Um, I'm not, we mentioned so many films. Uh, Four D Men, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um. Uh, I know. Nope. Uh, I think Lee Merriweather's in that, or somebody. Lee Merriweather is in it. Yeah. yeah. Does she? Does she turn knobs? Yes. <laughs> not, no, it's not, not one time. For, uh, 4D right. man for FK is saying. Great. Yeah, for, um, um, I got uh, Raquel up into that a couple of years back when I mentioned it to her. She oh yes. Yeah. Patty Duke is in it. No, really. Yeah. She wow. is. Yeah. How old is she? There. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. But Lee Merriweather. I love the time tunnel. Um, oh yeah, me too. I, I made Doug and Tony. Um, you know, I, you know, I make my little characters, my little cardboard characters. I made Doug and Tony. Uh, um, and then my my wife would always be like, "All that lady does is turn the knobs." I was like, "That's Lee Merriweather, true. man. Like that's all Calvin, she has right to there. do. That's all she has to do is turn the knobs." Like, like, what about Whit Bissell? All he does is talk. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah. Tony Newman yeah. and Doug Phillips tumble endlessly to the quarters of time. Time, yeah, time. And then they can't change anything. That was one of the uh, no. They just go ahead and just walk around through history and go, "Hey, hey here we go." Speaking of history, they say, Man, me. "You know, I had a near as near mint copy of this one for so many years. Wow. When I got it in the early '80s, when I bought it, it was like about forty bucks." Oh huh. wow, that's a really good deal. When I bought it, first bought it, something like that. 40, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, not anymore. Not anymore. It's All right, but we do have some Mariner in green, the patented green. Yeah, it's green. Yes, it I shall destroy the Fantastic Four by making a movie, putting them in a movie. Well, <laughs> well, get, get, get the first time. So Hollywood wasn't the first one to destroy them with a movie. Who knew? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just gonna, I was gonna say, Namor's got some competition. They're gonna be like, <laughs> hold my beer. You think that's trash? Wait till and and then and then they got revenge on Namor because they yes. put him in a movie, and, made and they made worst. him the worst character. Yes. And then it, he's in like one of the worst movies. So it was pretty. Yes. I showed my plot is to put you in all a lousy, crappy movie. And they said, yes. "Yeah, just wait till fifty years, buddy. Yeah, yeah. fifty years, your ass is going to be in a way worse movie than ours." <laughs> Cheers, Namor. You're going to be. <laughs> you're the one who's going down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's the credits on, on this one? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I did. Let me, uh, Picasso, what's going on? You I'm read all these right. comics. Nice. Nice. This is number nine, right? All right. Here we go. Um, and that like a sorry. misfits of science. Yes. I've heard of that. Misfits nice. of science. Whatever. Oh, oh, my God. Terrible. That show was really bad. Um, all right, here we at the world's greatest comic magazine, the Fantastic Four, number nine. Release date. I'm first wait, sorry. Cover Jack Kirby, Dick Ayers. Um the, uh, King Kirby and the Great Dick Ayers. Uh release date September 4, 1962. Cover date December 62. Uh writer Jack Kirby, penciler, Jack Kirby, inker, day uh, Dick Ayers. Uh, color Stan Goldberg, art, I mean, excuse me, letter Artie Simak, editor Skakuskoska. Some of the guy. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. Okay, so there we go. Yes, Manimal. I, and I know Misfits of Science. I looked it up. I remember that. That's what's your face. Oh, yeah, man, all well, six Canadian, episodes, right? Yeah. Manimal. Uh, oh. What was good, Amy? Uh, Misfits of Science? I know Mutant X was. It's an NBC show. Oh, NBC show, yeah, okay. It's got Courtney Cox in it, though. I think or NBC. Ooh. NBC, yeah, it does have. Yeah, she was in it very young, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did Manimal she blind Man. them with science? I didn't know. I watched the first episode, and then it was so stupid I didn't watch it again, but it's, some people apparently are fond of it now. Just to let everybody know, the Persuaders Blu-ray 
with massive amounts of features is coming out. So I, I must, I probably will have oh, to get wow. that. Wow. Um, so. I thought that was already out on, on DVD, but on DVD, but it's a poopy version. This is like, this mm -hmm. is like a, a plus treatment. It's good. You know, Kino Lorber, Kino Lorber probably. Yeah. It's imprint. Um, it's imprint. Imprint. Yes. They're good too, man. They're so, it's, so it's Australian, but I confirmed um, that it's all region. Yeah. Yeah, I have some imprints. They're they're all region. They know they know where their money is, man. <laughs> Give us your money. All right. So Namor is watching I Claudius. Um, I wonder what he thought. I, I thought it was pretty good. No, I don't know what he's watching. He's just like watching. He's he's watching the surface world. Hmm. The the uh, the Fantastic Four are broke. Hey, you owe us money. They owe so Reed owes money to all these people because he spent it on OnlyFans or something. I don't know. By the way, I just want to tell R. I was just kind of even though I was making fun of. Just did some science. Believe me, I know a lot of people are fond of it, buddy. So no offense. <laughs> I just like to always make fun of it. I'm just, I don't think RR is gonna. I think he'll be he'll be okay. What? Yeah, and I was just. I didn't realize. Oh, that, the I was uh, yeah, looking at another, another page. So I didn't know that was him in the chat that mentioned it. So I was just saying. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this look, I'm not gonna defend anybody on this one except the art was getting better. You can see the art was improving. Um, this plot, this blessed plot. Um, wow. Yeah. So let's lead everybody into the, let's, let's guide our audience, uh, steadily into this. So a, Namor has Haney, discovered, right. yeah, this is a Bob Haney. Yeah. Uh, well, Namor has discovered that the Fantastic Four are broke because of insert reasons. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just he because he looked. He's got rabbit ears down there, all the way under the sea, and he watches uh, the. In, I guess uh, they don't have the Business Channel anymore it's at got this the point. News. Yeah. He's has got the plane. Yeah. This is Walter Conbridge, uh, the Fantastic Four, that superhero group, the only one yet so far in the Marvel Universe, has gone bankrupt for a reason. We don't even know why. Yeah, and I'm I'm going to replace this screen with our live stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna put our, I'm gonna put our live stream on there, so it looks like he's watching uh, our, our stream. I'm gonna do that. I'll do that later with Photoshop. Um, maybe I'm, hmm, this Sean guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> it's like Reed Richards played the stock market or something, which he wouldn't have done. But anyways, no. I wouldn't he have been smarter about it if he had. I, know. Like, I don't know. I just they, they, they blame him later up. on for that, and it's like, yeah, well, yeah. Oh my God, it's so tough. I mean, it's like, Walter Conkright found out at the Pendrift of Four. Yeah, so. I, I guess he's got some great technology, the subby, because he's under, way down underwater. Yeah. He's, he's got, got a, satellite TV or something. He's got a satellite. He's got a, like, <laughs> he's got that. And rabbit, he's got a picture. He's got he's a very big rabbit, rabbit ears. Yeah. yeah. He's got, like, very tall rabbit ears that, that get out of the water. I mean, it's like. Yeah. And why is his picture of Sue right blue there, skinned look. or whatever? Like that blue skinned is is their um is, yeah, is like his Atlanteans. the Atlanteans race. So it's like somebody's you know, somebody's like photoshopped it. He photoshopped like, the blue because he thinks the, he should be blue. the same she blue light that's on the TV is is uh, <laughs> reflecting on that. Oh, Atlantean, <laughs> like even though he's obviously light skinned, he like he's into blue right. blue chicks. And he thinks that Walter Cronkite should also be blue, so he's like adjusted his TV accordingly. <laughs> so or maybe why are they all it. blue? Maybe why it's supposed to be a black blue? and white picture. I don't know. So Smurfette is like his bag. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that Smurfette's it's looking good tonight. You know, yeah. the thing, uh, thing changing a little bit now. Yeah. Oh, how, how, are they, how are they? Out? A little yeah, how are they going to collect payment from the Fantastic? Like this is this is nonsense. Like you owe us money. Oh, okay. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Um, do like then, thing lives. I mean, look, it's just. I'm sorry, but you can't get get away with throwing around a, 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 a messing around with a cab like that. Benji, at this point, is like, man, okay, yeah, you already. I guess if he were broke anyway, we don't. He's a menace. He's, He's shooting a, menace. a gun and stuff. Like, what is going yeah. on there? Like, why is he no, it's on? the flare. Oh, it's the flare. Yeah. <laughs> we need it's like a shooter. A we got a shooter. Oh, well, he's just calling for an Uber. Yeah. I need four. I need a, I need a four. I um, do uh, um, like Hugh Hefner robe uh, thing. 
because yes, later on we got you have no robe, uh, Namor, but that's later on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like uh, I like I like the uh, the shape of your head there, uh, Benji. It's like oh, yes. thanks. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> so um, oh. this guy's giving them a letter, and the letter is to tell them that um, there's this little town in Santa Polco uh, that's being attacked by El Guapo and if they make an appearance there. <laughs> but little do they know that it's not a movie. It's actually real. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, whatever. So they, they're going to go do a movie because Namor, they're going to go to Hollywood and film a movie. So they, they, And they're going to be paid a million dollars each or something um, to go star in a movie. Right. So here, okay. So can we? Who are the guys we want to point out here? Anybody like? There's, there's uh, James Arness and Miss Kitty. Yeah, from okay. what they're doing right there in their costumes, I don't know. That's Hitch. Is that yeah, Hitchcock? Yeah, they're in their costumes. The only reason I knew who they were, <laughs> um, yeah. Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. I think that's supposed to be uh, Charles Bronson. Oh, uh, it is. Yeah. With the iPad. Um, Hope and Crosby, and of course Jackie Gleason, who gets a speaking part here. Right behind you. Uh, yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I only, I only watch his stuff on rerun. Wow, what is uh, it? And uh, um, <laughs> you'll find uh, out. What's his name, man? God, do you know? Ghosts. Um, oh, I know who this is. It's um, um I can't remember. I, it's blind blanking. Always with uh, um, uh, the brat pack. It's um, the roast guy, right? Yeah, the roast his... guy. Yeah, God, I'll, I'll tell you. How, how, how can? This is terrible, Dean, guys. Dean Martin. Dean, Dean oh Martin. my God, oh, Dean Jesus! Martin is one of them, but yeah, that's Dean Martin. The guy next to the guy in the purple. I don't know. Oh no, that that's that, still uh, Jackie Gleason. That's Jackie Gleason so from Jackie, this. Okay. He's he yeah. gets two word balloons in this. That was supposed yeah. to be uh, Dean Martin. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, why it Dean does. Martin's talking to Jackie Gleason. I, I don't. I don't know. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't be like Ralph Cramden or someone. <laughs> Should be Ed Norton. Ed Norton. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, we're here to see uh, the, uh, the 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 head honcho here. It's like, all right, here he is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the submariner at your service. The, the cigarette yes. holder, I love it. <laughs> I've, nice decided, I've decided a new way to destroy the surface world. I'll make shitty movies. Yeah. No, we got that covered. <laughs> Hollywood's like, no, we we got that, buddy. <laughs> so here's. So I was going through my treasures, which I have a bunch of, and I thought I would buy a movie studio and I would reboot famous franchises like Star Wars and Star Trek and ruin the crap out of them. And I teamed up with J.J. And, and, and I teamed up <laughs> with the cinematic genius J.J. <laughs> Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> They're not born yet, but they will be one day. And hey, you think I'm Manos immortal? Bad? You think Manos the Hands of Fate was bad? Wait till you see J.J. Mm -hmm. Abrams movies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Picasso, for gifting a membership. Uh, so, I, someone in the chat can claim that if they've got memberships yeah. activated. I don't remember exactly how that works. You uh, thank you, Picasso. I appreciate that. If you have it activated, or if you have that available, it'll it could claim you. It, it'll it'll. Look, oh, cool. Okay, cool. Well, I'm cool. told you can't just say, "Hey, there it is." Let me grab it. Ah, okay, okay. I see. But you have to make yourself available. You have to make yourself available. Yeah, okay. I understand. So All right, so confident. Oh my god, so here's your here's your money. Okay, well, hmm, this seems kind of bullshit to me. Yeah, this <laughs> seems super bullshit. Yeah, this seems like really outrageously stupid. Yeah. It's like the job hitting you like this. Hell? It's like yeah. hell with Atlantis. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. Yeah. So here's I'm the pink Cadillac. Like your pink Corvette He's or whatever it is. Yeah. Looks like a vet. Maybe riding on the freeway, you know, we're riding. Yeah, let me just freeway. burn shit in the road. You know, I mean, a, at least he's not flamed on. Luckily, he's just a lot of times he's standing around flamed on for the hell of it, right? And you waste a uh, flame that way, but okay. I love people on. stepping on him. Yeah, can you <laughs> get a 10? Let me just assault all of these guys with my super strength. <laughs> that's, not gonna, that's not gonna hurt him or anything. Not in California. He'll just be like, oh. And in fairness, they, yeah, they were walking through there, but they weren't really bothering him that much. Maybe by accident, they didn't see him, but he just decided to go after these guys, just like he did with the cab. I mean, Ben is just. Can you gift a membership if you don't have them? I, I guess you can gift one. You can gift it to yourself. 
Um, that's weird. That is weird. Um, you can gift it if you I'm, don't have it. I guess that's a thing. You can join up yourself, but I guess you can, yeah, if you don't have it, I guess you can. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I guess I've, you can. I've never know. I've never noticed, but I guess he just did, didn't he? Yeah, I'm not really privy to any of these YouTube things. It's like they they've. <clears throat> They they, they they have all these options. I don't know. So they, oh, thanks. Oh, there you go. Picasso gifted it. He got it. Thanks, Picasso. I appreciate that. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Let's, get, let, let's, let's give you the Elvira jumping up and down. So, yeah, I'm not, it's funny. I've never really figured out how that works either. You can't just like say, hey, I want to give so and so a membership. You just you gift the membership and it flies at random. Because I've had times when I had a lot of workers get members that, that you know, didn't say a word in the chat, but it showed, you know, I looked at the outer chat. Oh yeah! All these different names of people that have come, been given, gifted the membership, but when someone would buy memberships from me, so I'm like, okay, that is weird. Weird, mm. wild stuff. Oh, I forgot to put my blocker on. All right, there you yeah. go. Okay, so he, he assaults these men. He, he piles all these dudes up. That's got to break bones and all kind of crap, dude. Damn, yeah. man. This Girl looks like the, the movie water. Society. He, he has a monster attacking people. In the we movie. we missed the part where thing um wants to commit crimes and then uh because um, oh yes you're right he's like oh we, sh we can't resort to crime and he's like we can't yeah <laughs> why not that's Wait, true why the heck not super villains do it why can't we yeah, yeah. we'll be, be even better super villains. just like yeah why don't we just still steal it steal well, ben it ben was steal really money. great ben was pretty upset like i always have said to try to tell people those early issues ben was walking that line yeah yep. downright he was downright nasty yeah so <laughs> each guy, except for Sue, um, or Sue to a camera, each each character is gonna have a different monster or obstacle to face yeah. in the guise of oh, we're filming this for the movie, <laughs> but <laughs> really he's trying to kill him. Yeah, uh Reed, uh listen, I want you to go to this island by yourself and like do something and we'll film it. This all for the movie. Not yeah, what about my script? It's all I, part of the show. It's a mystery box. It's a. It doesn't matter, Reed. Was, it's a mystery box. It, it's way, way too overly elaborate. I always get Scott Evil in my hands. Like I'll just go in, a, in my room, get the gun, and come. <laughs> <laughs> like what is this? No, I'll go like, let him fight a monster. You rented an <laughs> island, found a monster, and right. now you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Is it an evil petting zoo? <laughs> and he found the one tribe that was impervious to flame. Like, oh, dude, we have. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 when we get when we get to that one when we get to that i i was just like what you know you start shaking the ipad like what is this is this this is this the, the real story that they're going, going with? he right. said what did you think this was gonna be a harry house in cyclops yeah like what's yeah. going on here cyclops you're alive there it is you're so you're this alive, cyclops, yeah this cyclops has been walking around unchecked on this <laughs> island He's immortal and he's immortal, and, and like, and he's throwing burgers at people. Her. Yeah, he speaks English. Like, yeah. I mean, this is this is amazing. Of course, I live. I am I'm immortal. immortal. But you, lonely human, are not. That's how he would sound in an old Chinese cartoon. I'm mean, Hanna Barbera. Well, so, sure. someone in our our chat last time, I can't remember who it was, um, said that like Fantastic Four was in many ways like a, a, a continuation of the monster comics before that came just. Yes, before. you're right. Someone yeah, said yeah, that. And it, it feels like that. Yeah, it's absolutely. The earth. Yeah. Hey, Steve. I think he's got. I don't know if he has class one thousand strength. Um, he might have one. He might have um, one hundred. Was unearthly. I remember all my uh, all my TSR designations. Unearthly one hundred. Monstrous seventy five. Right. Uh, amazing fifty. But yeah, I think I don't know what thing had. I've got I actually have the I actually really have the game it, within. Yeah. I could go. I can go right to this room there and get it right there. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, Wagner. Yeah, Wagner. Yeah, Wagner. yeah, they all, it's so true. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So the so okay. So they're he's gonna fight this monster. I mean, look. So goofy idea. Now, now, now. I'm gonna say something. This is gonna be. A, this might be a hot take. So. One Monday, the B Monday of every month, Clobber and Times, I go on Clobby's channel and we talk about a Bob Haney comic. The Bob Haney com comics all have dumb ideas. This has a dumb idea. However, this is a big asterisk. It leads to fighting monsters and stuff. So, cool. unlike, Bob a, Haney. unlike Bob Haney, un his, 
the stories are boring and it leads to them fighting a drug dealer or something super boring. But they're not always dumb. Sometimes they're out they're worse than dumb. They're insane. I mean, they're right. like cuckoo for cocoa puffs from panel to panel. You don't know what's I mean, they're they change reality. Right. And this just it was kind of a goofy idea. This is it has that painy goofiness. Yeah. But like you say, it's still a comic book about heroes. I mean, it's got that dumb plot, but they're you know, he's fighting a monster thing here, like you said. They're using their powers. Even they're not even like some of those dumb Legion stories where we read where they're just nothing to detest their powers or anything. They're just doing stupid stuff, futile stuff. And those aren't even Bob Haney. Those are lame ass right. stories that were done before uh we got to see some of the shooter stuff. And even he does silly stuff. So yeah, it is different. It's not quite Haney, but you're right. It's that Haney feel to it. Yeah, at least he's fighting this thing, so there's a bit of a fight yeah. here. Uh, and, it, and it's it's a villain setting him up. It's just goofy, right? He did drop him down a pit, though. This is the Sparta. This is the this is Sparta yeah. pit. And then I like how he's he's gonna go. Well, I guess I got to get back to uh, Hollywood now. So he's in the Mediterranean. Yeah, like how is he getting back? Can you explain how Reed gets back. No, he just, gets there. I think he just swims. <laughs> he just swims back. About. All right, there. Uh, remember, pretend to fight the natives below. It's like, oh, okay, like so. He fall. He, so Johnny falls down. The flame of battle. Now we're getting close to almost. We're very close to almost the perfect um, Human Torch at this point. Yeah. Real close, it's right? Classic like, comics. Yes, Superman creates an alternate timeline for this one by no. flipping a stretch of road. Like a yes, that is true. Yes, yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, Hulk might have unearthly. <laughs> uh, okay, so Human Torch lands here. These guys try to kill him, and that's okay because he's got flame powers. Oh, but they've got this thing that they Fire eat room. or drink that makes them. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty Bob right there. But yeah. Um. Yeah, that uh, I got another one for that. <laughs> <laughs> this this is insane. So human torch he, replicates he himself. Torch, I have no idea how he can do this. Yeah. And he never did it again that I know of, anyway. No. Maybe, but what is this? Multiplex? Like, yeah, I can I can make myself I can make multiple fire versions of myself. Um, sure, sure, Johnny. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, since when? But okay, yeah, I don't know. And then, like, he gets <laughs> powered up by going into a volcano. Oh, I'd like to point out I don't think if people know this, um, at this point in time, um, classic comics, I didn't know. Were you a, I didn't know you were you a member? I didn't know you became you, you became a member. Thanks, oh. man. I appreciate that. Um, Ooh. Or maybe he got the mem or maybe he got the gift. Maybe, maybe, he, got that's maybe he got the gift. Yeah. Huh? The, but I want to point out that Johnny's powers um, fade. They, 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 he can yeah. only and and the and the harder he goes, the quicker they fade. He, he, say, he the says story. that in one of these. Yeah. Yeah, he had said that earlier somewhere in one of these the, comics. And that's true. It's, but that's when it's convenient for the story. How many times have you seen him just standing around a room, flame on, flamed on for no reason? Well, it is a bit convenient, but. Uh, all right, and then meantime, these guys just have a fight right there. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you, you glossed over that the human torch destroyed these people's homes. Yes. Oh, yes. And, and, and a thing to it, and he's like, "Oh, I destroyed their potion. They're not. They're no longer flame retardant." Like that right. was a good thing. It's like, well, you're the invader. Like you're the. Yeah. You know, it's like they yeah. were fine with themselves. They probably needed that flame retardant power for something, and you destroyed their home. Destroy yep. their land, destroy their 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 formulas, and everything's uh, all good now. <laughs> like it, it doesn't make any sense. Human torch colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, that, that's what happened, buddy. That's I'm life glad. in the big city. <laughs> yeah, uh, Castro uh, gifted it to him. So there you go. Oh, oh, awesome! I see. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, Johnny, like, dude, Johnny. Of course, Johnny's a kid. He just doesn't know better. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Subby just says, I'm not going to trick thing. I'm just going to pounce him. I'm just going to beat the crap out of him. All this right elaborate now. planning. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to punch the thing. I just want to punch <laughs> the <rock> guy. 
Yeah. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. I just got, you, you know, you. <laughs> all right. All right. That, 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 that's it. Well, when you get some kind of master plan, you let me know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear the Sean and Clobby master plan to get rid of the thing. All I heard was a bunch of nee, nee, I'm, nee, I'm nee, all for it. I want to see a fight. <laughs> By the time this comic got a good fight. He does an earthquake on him. Wow. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, he so does, he does, he does the earthquake. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He does. He does. <laughs> That's Hogan at the point. Oh, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Earthquake. <laughs> WWE. I'm pretty sure I had a GIF of earthquake uh, doing it. Doing the earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> I do have it. Okay, hold on. I'll, I will upload that. Um, oh for sure. God. This one. I'll 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 I'll, up, I'll upload that for you, but that'll, that'll become one of our, uh, <laughs> one, of our uh, one of our overlays here. Hold on, let me let me get that here for you. Yeah, I, I don't think it's Hulk Hogan. I got it on, but I got it on, yeah, on yeah, something yeah. else. Yeah. Here you go. Here this here here's what here's what uh, here's uh, Namor. Yeah. This is this is this is what uh, Sean's. Oh, I don't know why it's taking so long to do a GIF. It's like 0.5 megs or something. It's just taking a while. I don't know why. It'll. Oh, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> Ouchies! Oh man, that that, that is a, that is a good one. Uh, oh god! Oh, <laughs> oh, All right, headlock. Yeah. It's like and look at this man. This is like they're, they're they're trying, he's trying to get like the big arm bar on really him and stuff. Early right? on, but it's a pretty cool Kirby splash right there. Yeah, yeah. this is awesome. Then he grabbed the belt. Oh man, he grabbed the belt, man. What's going on here? Nobody yeah, grabbed my belt. He grabbed him by the S. <laughs> Don't mess with the S. Back to Ben for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, come on, Jack. It happens all the time. Yeah. And then Namor sucker sucker punched him. Yeah, that's not. I did it. I defeated him. Now, damn it, I Sue. Uh, Namor, you're yeah. back. Where are the others? I'm sort of tired of her messing around with him. At least he got gone on to his bullshit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, she was born at night, but not last night. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> you triumphed over them? What do you mean, pray tell? It's like, I mean that I have proven that I'm the most manly Ooh. man ever. I don't wear shirts or pants, I don't and I'm them. very manly. And I don't have shoes either, but I'm still manly. You will now be my bride. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't be your bride. She turns invisible. It's like I gotta get the hell out of here. Then one day, some little girl will beat me up at a me and I'm my first movie I ever get. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'll wear stupid like tattoos and crap. Oh, I can't remember face. the tattoos. Yeah. Wait, what tattoos? are you talking about? What movie is that? No, when tattoos, it was like uh, I'm sorry, it was like uh, it was piercing things all over him. Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? And he had some kind of weird stuff all over his nose and all that stuff. Yeah, I've blocked that on memory. And we'll the the name of that movie. Oh, yeah. I, I was completely stunned. No, in the I, I don't know control. what the hell you guys are talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That that's yeah, sure he beats him with like uh, with but a nothing. heat vent or something. I, yeah. yeah. So stupid. Yeah. First movie. Yeah, she turned on my my heat. I have a heater. She turned on one of those like those powerful ones. Though. Right. Wait. You know, what? guys, those are hot. Like, <laughs> if you set that to high, it's pretty warm. So like, I can I can definitely understand Namor being destroyed by a heater. Some of these are yeah, really, yeah. really, really uh, like he waits I'm gonna eight do eight years to get a movie and he gets his butt kicked by a little girl. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, but what you one thing you're forgetting though is that she did drink the, the Black Panther liquid five minutes before the battle. So that right. gave her super strength, super intelligence, martial arts, like like uh, uh, like uh, weapon use. Like all of a sudden she could do everything from drinking that liquid. It's like that didn't happen to anyone else before. It's <laughs> the most contrived Charlie. garbage. I'm going to watch it again. You know, if it, if it had been T'Challa, maybe giving him a tough fight or something, I could have handled it a little bit. Oh yeah, T'Challa. Cool. Yeah, T'Challa versus uh, Namor. Well, real That's real what everyone. Real Namor. Yeah. 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 The real Namor. Yeah. Yeah. And he still shouldn't beat Namor, but still, you know. Yeah. He still shouldn't. Right. But that would have been cool. Yeah. But then they could have said they upgraded his suit, or because then Shuri could have right. said, "What? Well, it's like, brother, I upgraded your suit. Now it could withstand the force of whatever. You know, like make up some bullshit or for or, it. or have him win on guts." Like, like it's happened before with Namor, you know, That's with, true. Like, with, with Daredevil. Yeah. And stuff. He got he like a punk kill, by a little girl. Right. He would never kill Riri. 
that that entire movie is flawed no. because no, the premise he, makes that, no say. he wants to go right. wants to kill the per, I don't know he it's wants to kill Iron for, he's, he's gonna, gonna kill Leo Leo and write screenplays yeah he's, he's gonna kill or, Riri Williams who's like fourteen or something in that and he like, does kill whatever. the other lady uh, the other lady right right which he wouldn't do he that either. Name, his mother or oh the mother yeah yeah yeah. Like, why would Namor kill these? No, these, these the, he would never do this. This is not that mm. character. Even when he's a villain, he doesn't do it. Anyways. All right. So here we go. New power. Namor, new power alert. X-ray. Here he's got the friggin' uh, uh, X-ray vision here. New power. E power yeah. 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 I don't know. But I don't know about this new power here, Namor. But anyways, he grabs her. <laughs> um, hashtag, uh, she's going to go on X and, and Namor will be canceled because he grabbed her. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, yeah. They bust the door down. She'll reveal all the tweets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. Um, now, now it's just like a fight. They're all going to beat him up together. Guys, how did you get back from where you were? Greed, weren't you on that so, in, in a weird island? And Johnny, how did you come back? Like, didn't you expend up all your uh, your your flying torch abilities? It's like, um, yeah, we just came back. Don't worry. Yay, we won. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a movie. And the movie's a hit. After all. Yeah, the movie was a hit. They made the movie. I mean, this I mean, is who... when? When did they get a chance to make the movie? They were like, they had like a couple of attacks, and then the, so what movie got made? Yeah, what it's... is the movie? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Not... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna they fix it in post. Cyclops and the other tribe. Right. There's no one there to film there's, it. There's no title. It just says starring the Fantastic Four. Like, what? What's it it's called? The Fantastic Four. I guess it'll be a clever title. But yeah. what did they do? In the movie, <laughs> no, no. <nothing. laughs> Listen, they they'll fix it in post. Don't worry about <laughs> it. They'll fix it. At all. So who did the special effects? I guess Reed. Yeah, Reed, <laughs> Reed Richards. <laughs> Here's the. Uh... All right, we get to see Johnny's powers. They forgot to show the power on here where he could split into a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's that power? <laughs> the next comic I'm going to start writing in. Where's that fake power that he had uh, in the last? Issue? Yeah, the multiple was it multiplex the multiple yeah, multi, yeah. power whatever. So anyway, that was a weird one there, boys. Now we've got I mean, Doom. It's cute and all, but well, this is going to be even cuter. Yeah, <laughs> there you oh, go. Crap. All right, we have a uh, the world's greatest uh -huh. magazine, <laughs> Fantastic Four number ten. October 9th is the release date of 1962. Dick Ayers inking Jack Kirby on the cover. So Jack Kirby, Dick Ayers cover. Um, color by Stan Goldberg, by the way. Um, story and, and art by the great creator Jack Kirby. Anchor, Dick Ayers. Colorist, Stan Goldberg. Letter, Artie Simak. Editor, Stable Gadasco B. Blumen. <laughs> Lestan, no, El, 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 Elton, name. Elton, uh, C, Elton C. Uh, hey, Joe, how's it going, man? Ew, uh, up, he doesn't dude? like Sue's uh, forehead. Looks bad in that one. What's with the big forehead? I don't know. That's what the, that was all the rage back then. That was the style, big foreheaded chicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like Jackie O. Right. Yeah, they, they put their hair way back. I guess. Like huh? that neck, hair yeah, back. they want to have that. They have yeah. It's, yeah, they don't uh, like, like bangs. Uh, the, the the five head look, you know. Ah, uh, yes. You put uh, I can only do I can only do four on mine. Uh, <laughs> I'm four as well. For I'm now. actually my hairline has never changed. It's the same. I'm not going bald or anything, but like it's just that's just what it is. I got a big big forehead. Yeah, I need uh, a Maybe it's because I was headbutting people too often. Shouldn't uh, do that. Stop white. No, I shouldn't. Let's the return of Doctor Doom. So. Christ. <laughs> this is when Jack, by the way, for those who don't know, Jack was, this is you know, early on before the gigantic, uh, the, uh, you know, meteoric rise. They were, they were rising at this point, don't get me wrong. I'm here, you're almost a year, more than a year of the comic because it wasn't really monthly yet. But, um, so they've been around a bit now. They were very popular with the fans. They were doing some other comics. And they were both at the office a good bit back then. It was before they just started that. So they got together on stories and plots and stuff. They both deserve blame for this one, though. I'm not going to absolve Jack either for these stories. And they got, however, I do know that Stan really liked to brag about this idea 
of having them in the comic at Marvel Comics. And <laughs> go ahead, Ben. Just, just I mean, yeah. So it's just more sh like there, there, there's a little bit. So, so these early ones, again, they are early. This is the this is the early stuff. Right. Um, it's going to get epic. And um, oh yeah, yeah, the ideas are still there's still some cool ideas though. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not as tough as some of those early legions. Yeah, so the early legion. Yeah, again, this is all perspective. Like now, now when you say, "Well, what do you think about those? Uh, well, what do you think about those silly Silver Age uh, Marvel Stan and Jack?" Ha ha. I was like, "Well, have you been reading the Legion of Superheroes?" <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, it's a different perspective, but I love this camera that's so long that he's got to stretch it so no one else can use this. Um, look, I've made a picture. It's a picture. Uh, oh, I'm going to check out the vault here. What? And then like flaming and he's wrapping him up. I don't know why it's pink here. All of a sudden they're talking in pink. Uh, that's That was, <clears throat> if I'm not, I don't know. I can't remember. It may have been done for the masterworks. Uh, okay. Probably. Yeah. I don't know why they. Maybe not. I haven't seen a reprint. I mean, obviously, re I haven't seen that. <clears throat> you and I both have the, that the disc that has the yep. scans of the originals. Yeah, so I can. Um, I haven't seen that in a long time. I've uh, I've got those on. I've got actually have those on my iPad, so we can should, we can we can take a look if we need pink. to see which. This is issue. Um, I think they were painting those too, though. But it's been a long time. Yeah, let, let's take a look. Let, let, let's take a look. Hold on. Let's we'll just take a so Fantastic Four. This is number ten. Ten. 10 let's see but it might have been for the master words so i might have to check i mean just don't know no they were pink they were okay i don't know you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to tell no i got you um, but yeah it, it was pink you like pink weird weird sure i like, I like pink. pink i like pink very much lois i like pink for yes i do i like pink yep yeah. um all right pink. so they got so he stretches through 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 and around 35 floors. I mean, I don't know. Like, sometimes the stretching powers can't make it, and sometimes it's, like, super. So, I don't know. Sean, you have a cool shirt. I didn't realize it. Oh, yeah. It's a cartoon Fantastic Four. From, yeah. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, I've seen Bear. that. Oh, man. I love it. I've seen this shirt. I've done Yeah. Uh, Badass. So, uh, yeah, I, don't have, I don't have any Fantastic Four today. First I've got Fantastic Four I ever saw. That's the first I've time. I've got my Scarlet Witch Corner. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Real oh really? I can't see it that well. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it, this this is like a super worn out crappy shirt. And this I don't I don't think this was I think I don't I'm not sure if this started out distressed, but this has been worn to hell. <laughs> like well for it's actually actually distressed, yeah. It's actually distressed from me using it as an actual shirt. And, and this is like my pajama, basically. <laughs> I'm in my well, pajamas. Yeah, I'm wearing my Avengers shirt with all the, the John Byrne heads, all the head of oh, I love, I love, I love, that. I love, that. Yeah, I love those. So it's um, not even an FF shirt. I'm, how dare it's not wearing an FF shirt. Yeah, I only have an yeah. F. Uh, when I when I, I have when plenty I, of. Yeah, I only have a, a hoodie, an FF hoodie, and then all my other FF shirts went away when I uh, ch changed my weight. So I had to uh, I had to I had to lose some of those. Um, all right. Anyway, so I love again more shenanigans with the crowd like yeah, this. They like, Stan and Jack love this. Yeah. Is is he had some come here and you adorable thing? She wants to bring him home. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, this, this creepazoid man. He's like, This is crazy. crazy. Kiss yeah. you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, what the hell, man? Wow. And then she walks out in front of a car invisible. I mean, yeah. Oh no. And then oh no. And then the car eek. Well, yeah, she causes a car crash. They cause disaster everywhere. You know, it this yeah. is a lot like that first movie. That was yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, where they cause all that mayhem on the bridge. Yeah. I didn't like that, but it, it is comic accurate. So. Oh my god, you're right, Sean. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Oh no. Now you like that movie even more. <laughs> I gotta take no. Egon, no, I, I gotta, I gotta take back some of the things I said about you. Uh, <laughs> No, I've got to take some things back about that movie because you know what? This bullshit is all through all these comics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sean, oh my god! That. And the crowd going around her, and she became invisible too. Yeah, like, oh. yeah. It's like, wow, that's super out of the comics. Wow. That Sean, I, I've got. Oh. Sean, this reminds me of the time you tried to drill a hole through your head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked too if you didn't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that guy a U.S. politician? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, baby. Let so me kiss you on the man, lips. Look at the action figures. Well, I mean, the Ooh. statues. Yeah, it's got all these uh, 
Baron McFarlane. Yeah. Yeah, she's good. Alicia Masters, yeah. Good ah. job, Alicia. But she made Oosh. Namor, which causes a whole stir. <laughs> it's like, well, don't Ooh. include Namor in all that. Like, shut up, Sue. Yeah, Sue doesn't <laughs> want to see that. <laughs> Sue's like, oh, I want that Namor action figure. It's like, you know what, Sue? We got to talk this shit through. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. It's yay big. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't, I, you know, you know, Alicia, what is, this isn't five, this isn't even five POA. These are stacking figures. Like they're not even. These stactions, yeah. This is PVA, yeah. PVC yeah. figures. These yeah, 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 yeah. They're one These color. Are, but They're one, and they're one color. Alicia, listen, I know you're blind, but that's no effing excuse. No. It's like, it's like, <laughs> like Alicia, like, I don't know how much fun does she have making them anymore. Things. She got the abs just right. You know, it's like the, oh the my text God. in there. Look at that! Look at you. Johnny's like, I'm gonna burn this. I love how Johnny's like, I'm gonna destroy this figure. No, oh. you will not. Do not destroy that figure. It's a how, one of a kind. How does she know to be able to sculpt the mole man and, and the scrawl? She and, wasn't there. Yeah. And Doc yeah. Doom or even Namor. I don't maybe know. maybe Thing miracle? described it to her. Um, wow. Thing okay, she's a genius then. <laughs> she is. All right. You so don't. meanwhile, in New York, in the real world, here's wow. Bob Haney. Madison Avenue, Ant Man, Hulk. Who are they? Here, here here's a. There's Thor. Yeah, Ant Man, Hulk. Yeah, Thor. Here, here's a, here's a quote from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. I think reality just checked out of here. <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, now Stan and Jack are drawing characters and trying to come up with a villain for the Fantastic Four to fight. So, Look. so Jack, so Jack Kirby created False Face before the Batman sixty six yes. series. Yeah. Oh, you, look at that! <laughs> he did the name anyway. But now look, the, on their office, I don't think it ever really said Lee and Kirby. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm skeptical there. Well, hello. I've come because I read your comments. I'm Doctor Doom. I thought the latest issue of Tales of Astonishment was total rubbish. I'm going to kill you for it. This is meta. So. Here's what's uh, what's actually what they're trying to say. The Fantastic Four, well, like it or not, they've had a movie in the last and issue. They have a comic book adaptation. And they have a comic book adaptation. They mentioned comics before in earlier issues. Remember, they have. They uh, mentioned Submariner comics been and the Hulk. Hulk. Hulk, yeah. yes, and Namor. Right, Johnny's been um, reading the Hulk. Right. Now that is a weird one because that should be in their world. The Namor comics are about Namor's adventures in World War Two. Right. right or whatever so that could make sense and even this could make sense to say they're writing comic books about because if the fantastic four were real people you know there'd probably be comics about them or something right like or what they get the stories right from the fantastic four so does yeah. that mean they get the stories from thor and ant-man and all too i don't know <laughs> but this is weird because they're like oh i like that they they say not bad jack but i, I think he sounds a little bit too commonplace yeah okay sam what's your stupid idea um what yeah. Yeah. You know, there was, it's just like, um, in that, one of my favorite Fantastic Four comics was SF 176 when the Impossible Man by George Perez, just in the Impossible Man takes over Marvel Comics when he wants a comic book about him and he saws the big ruckus about it because they won't do a comic about him. He's mad at him and he takes over and wackiness ensues. Roy Thomas and all these other people who are there, the offices, including Stan and Jack Kirby's there because he was back at Marvel at the time. And they were all saying they were all pissed off because they couldn't get. They mentioned like he tells Marv that guy of your, a friend of yours that follows Dracula around. He hasn't got the latest issue. He hasn't talked to you about the latest issue of Tuba Dracula yet. You know, going by this same, you know, uh, motif that, that they get all their stories from the things that really happen in the Marvel universe, right? The comics, right. yeah. And anyway, they, they they had no story from. Forgot which comic it was, and Jack stands up and says, "You know, why don't you guys just make something up?" And they all look at. They all got mad, like they were horrified. Stan and, and Roy, make something up, Jack. That's the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't. See Lee and Kirby. Lee, Lee and Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. There's their names right there. Yeah. So they don't make anything up at all. Just Reed comes down there and tells them what's going on again. So let's assume that Stanley and Jack Kirby are writing comics about the real Fantastic Four and adapting their adventures. That's Why would Doctor Doom show up to there anyway? So even that's weird. Dr. Doom loves comics. Did you know that? Let me fo Ah, oh, we can't see. Oh, they'll take your mask oh, off. <laughs> oh, my God. He has the off-color um, cowl. Yeah, the, the, the cape. The cape? And well, that, that happened in space. 
No, that happened in space at Dolphin. Oh, Dolphin. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I don't know. Yeah, but it's Sun <laughs> Beach. Yeah. Color problem. Maybe but then right here, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That actually Bad. could have been a re I don't know about if it was that way in the regular issue. Huh. But you think if it was, it would have corrected it for the here. Yeah. This, this correct is everything clearly, else. This yeah. is clearly a scan from a masterworks or something. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. This is masterworks. Um all right. Well, what do you want on your pizza, Reed? Oh, let me think. I'm not sure. I'll blast something. Look at this. Like Thing keeps doing these things, but like, doesn't it cost money? Yes, it does. Yeah. That's how they were. That's why they were broke. Uh, well, what's going on here with the stretchy leg here? Like he's got this, like pants and hat that's oh, stretchy. Unstable. Yeah, it's an unstable hat. <laughs> Come on, guys, cut it out. Yeah, what these right. guys are being silly right now. Stop it. At least they weren't right. bring or anything in this one. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. That that ended last issue. Um, so hey, get your foot off that table there. It's like you call for a pizza and do it quickly. <laughs> I like this loser. It's like Reed Reed comes in. Guys, what's going on with my car? <laughs> Blasted. Like Reed got nailed immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh teleportation. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. You know, time slash. travel, teleportation. Yeah. Right. Come to Doctor Doom. Silly aliens. Silly aliens. <clears throat> we got it all on UHF. UHF. I've got yeah. itch right here. Can you? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Holy crap! That guy just teleported. Doctor Doom, but how? You died in the last in a few issues ago. Ah, but I have a control pad. I'm here. too awesome to die. Um, yes. I, I everyone wrote like, in and said, "What the hell are you doing?" So I'm. Just, yes. And then Jack and Stan decided to bring me back, but then they kill me again. I I leave for one issue and all hell breaks loose with a Hollywood plot line. So now <laughs> yeah. I'm back. Yeah, we don't need more. It's like you didn't even know what to do without me. Anyway, you are such an idiot. I have to be with him yeah. later. Da, 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 Superman. Oh, wait, I don't have anything there. This is this is gonna well, well, here's how I escaped. One of the point about that Namor thing, I don't think they ever addressed it again. He just probably stops probably got bored with being rich and decided to go back to being pissed yeah, off at humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when you took over a Hollywood studio? Yeah, so I've got four. <laughs> like, Hollywood was even too even too evil like, for him. Like I want that part in Atlantis Attacks in 1989. It's like remember when you did the yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, they should work that in and be like, you still own shares in that company, and now it's become huge, and it's like, oh, we lost Clobby. Oh, no, Clobby's gone. Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll log back and just yeah, disconnect. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Yes, I, 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 oh, I know that entire thing. Here, I'll, where's my, uh, do I have that? I should have something from there. Oh, this week in Town Talk, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, got Town a Talk. Nose. Oh, you know what? I actually got rid of that one. I actually got rid of that one. Because Let me see if I can. Strikes, probably. No, not the town talk one, but oh. the. Uh, let's see. Uh, bumpers, clips. Let me see if I still have it. It was it was uh, it was the the uh, the town talk one. Ah. It's here somewhere. I'll have to. I'll have to search for it. Like, yeah. Uh, so cool. I tapped out of that John Byrne series really early. <laughs> I didn't like it. Oh yeah. It's the one. The one I always make fun of from the nineties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Doctor Doom, Clobby will come back on. Let me see yeah, this yeah. messaging. You. The ovoids. You know, yeah, these, for whatever these reason, I kept calling them the ovarians. <laughs> <laughs> Ovoids. <laughs> Welcome, Earthman. We are the Ovo. They're, they're the worst. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really? They're absolutely trash. Look at this loser. Ooh, look at these goofs. Yeah. Eee. We have small faces. We are very feisty characters. What's wrong with that idiot? He's dying, but he's of no importance. Uh, and, then, and then he turned, and then like he figured out how to like transfer his body yeah to reed richards so now it's superior spider-man basically it's superior spider-man superior yeah. son burns run 
Uh, it was pretty good, especially Invaders. Yeah, I should read it. Now that I'm older, and I'll probably appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, well, we'll see what happens with Clobby. Um, okay, so, yeah, he's able to transition his mind. So, what what's going on here? Hey, I'm in. I'm a Fantastic Four, and you're just a Doctor Doom now. Is he still? He went back to that dull color. Yeah, <laughs> into the sun bleach color. So now they have like super awesome. Um, yeah, and like Doctor Doom knows how to use the powers better. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Doom can immediately use the powers better. Yeah, and then then then, then think it's like okay, and then boosh, these guys smash through. Hey, what's going on here? There's Doctor Doom. We got him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. You gotta get, get him, get him, get get him. All right, here's Bobby's back. Hey, hey, you hear me? Yeah, yeah we hear you. If sometimes again, I'm gonna have to readjust this thing. Let me try something. Uh, what about now? You still hear me fine? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I don't know what's wrong. My 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 thing. I mean, it just fell, and I don't know if it's got a bad connection or what. Huh. Oh yeah, it kicked you, or or you re, re, restarted yeah. maybe. I don't know if it's got a bad connection. That's I mean, my uh the arm thingy that holds the my the my uh mic thing it just broke and it, the whole thing fell off. But oh shit, sure. I'm sorry. So. Okay, well, well, keep running. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. No worries. Um. So whatever. We just they just switch okay? bodies. Yeah, we can hear you good. They just switched bodies with Doctor Doom thing, and then they broke in. All right, we're gonna beat up. We're gonna beat up Doctor Doom. Wait, look into my eyes. Listen to my voice. Trust your senses, your instinct. Can't you tell? Can't you see what's happened to me? Uh. No, we can't tell. <laughs> what's going on here? That's not my tape recorder. It is now. Look at look at that's awesome. Yeah, he's evil now. Like, Whoa, that's a scary. Read. I am Pedro Pascal. I am Pedro Pascal. Okay. Um, so now they're trying to figure out. This is hilarious. This is the montage of what do we do with Doctor Doom now that we've got him? Well, we can put a flame thing around him, and so he's stuck there forever till the till the flames die out. I guess. A montage. Montage. Yeah. Let's put a flame cage until the flames run out. Let's dump a boulder on his head. A boulder that's, on that's, his head. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A okay. boulder on the head. Let's put him in this fishbowl. Yeah. Throw him in here. Don't worry, there's yeah. lots of uh, air in there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. There's no air. The, when did the Fantastic Four become cops? Yeah, yeah like why are they imprisoning I mean, people? He's a criminal that tried to kill a bunch of people in that last one. Yeah. Um, I don't know where they where they exactly are, but you'd think, I mean, he's not seeing this. So far that we know, he's not the not the king of a sovereign country, is he? Yet? Oh, no. that, do they have that yet? yet? Probably not. No, not yet. No, no I don't no. think so. He's just a baddie. And remember yeah. in that last one, uh, he committed crimes and stuff in New York. So yeah, so they can't imprison. Him. Well, they're imprisoning him, and they're just going to leave him there. And, go, and they say, "We're not murdering him. What are you leaving him there? Pretty much, just leaving him there." Torch wanted to instead like a. Put him in a yeah. flame prison. The thing wanted to leave a rock over his head. I mean, okay. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, <laughs> okay. So they are saying thing says okay, unbreakable plex, uh, plexiglass. But what if he runs out of air? We don't want uh, the murdering creep. Yeah, we don't we want to murder, murder the creep. But we just want to leave him here to die. <laughs> and then he's like, "Well, we'll leave him here, and then we'll find a permanent solution later because yeah, I've got, I'm really hungry. My stomach's growling." And right, we'll find a permanent way to render him harmless. <laughs> Uh, uh, actually, hairless, harless. Oh yeah. Remember him, harless. Oops. Oops. So <laughs> they're gonna him harless, which again is not their call. Uh, one would think. <laughs> <laughs> not harless. <laughs> yeah, harless. <laughs> so uh, I, yeah, it's super villain. Uh -huh. All right, so and then he laughs. Ha ha! There's only five seconds of air left in that thing, so you suck. Yeah, See you later. Goodbye. You're gonna die, Bye. my buddy. I get to be you. Nowhere to run to, baby. baby. Yeah, right. buddy. Zoo yeah, animals buddy. missing. Well, there they are. Johnny, why are you flamed on? I don't know. Just like it. It's comfortable. Um, I look cooler. It does look cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, not, it's, it's the reverse of cool. Though. It's hot and you're burning the floor by standing on it. Yes. Well, actually, it's made of unstable molecules so that you can't burn it. All these shrunken animals, though, that's, 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 not, that's, not, that's not sus, as the kids say, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's I love all the things reading this paper. Zoo animals missing. I wonder where they yeah. went. Oh, there they are. It's like. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever happened to those zoo animals? They just can't where are those goddamn zoo animals? It, the mini must be the mini zoo. A mini yeah. penning, an evil mini penning zoo. Mini penning zoo. So yeah, there you go. It's like, <laughs> why would Reed, Reed Richards has never done this kind of crap before? He does like experiments, so they've right. got to be scratching their head, going, "Is Reed that real weird to you now?" And by the way, I forgot since I was going when it was going on. Um, is that another thing Star Trek took? I don't know. Remember the Turnabout Intruder? Oh yeah, well, I, I haven't re. It was the very last episode of Star Trek where Kirk switches bodies with. Oh kids. yes, yes, with that woman or whatever. Is this the first body swap thing we've ever seen in comics. Maybe not. I'm just. just yeah. Um. Yeah. Swapping bodies, eh? Um. Is there maybe it happened somewhere in some fiction before this? I'm just... I love picking up this elephant. Honestly, if I could have a baby elephant like that, that'd be sick. That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be badass, man. Like, imagine yeah. you had an elephant, but it was the size of a dog. Like that'd be they, wicked. Oh, they did that recent. What was that movie where they had like the miniature elephant in it? I think that oh, was Valley of Guanji. Oh, I, oh, I love. I have that movie. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie. What it was, was um. They found a, a little baby miniature elephant thingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Let me see. Mini I should get that on Blu-ray. Ray Harry House. This one was, I'm so. I that was one of the first movies I remember seeing in the theater in '68 yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. Um. I. I did that come out on Blu-ray? Blu-ray? I only have yeah, it on. I, think um, a I have a DVD. It must. I think it's on a collection or something. I, I, I have. Blu-ray. I have a VHS of it. I don't think I have a DVD. I, mean, I thought it was the only one. I have a DVD. That. I know like three people that love it. I love it, man. It's cowboys and it's dinosaurs. cowboys and dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 I, I own every Harryhausen thing there is to own. Like, Good. period. I own it all. And I have two of the three coffee table books that they've done. I don't have the... Oh, there's man. one I'm missing. He's the yeah. best. He is the best. That's... that's and look, he did no, those no dinosaurs longer. right there, not Willis O'Brien. Yeah, that's there's, it right I there. Love, again, oh, look at these all, guys. This is all such hobby science fiction stuff. I love it. Like, like, yeah, this is cool. These uh, smart dinosaurs and all that stuff. Yeah, right. Okay, that, so... Oh, that's Kirby. Because Stan. It's gotta Stan. be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He never read science fiction. Kirby loved it. But this, the, these were this is just a throwaway thing. This, these would have made cool action figures, or even like a cartoon or a comic or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like I know yeah, he did so, dinosaur way later on, but you know. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna. The plan is is that Rita's saying we're gonna increase your powers by shrinking you down, leaving you like that for a while. And they bought and, it and because no your your powers are relative to size or, or inversely proportional to size or you know whatever. Right. So uh, and then we're gonna make you big again, and then your powers are gonna be even better. You'll be even you, you won't just be invisible, you'll uh, be really invisible. Like I don't understand. Like what what is the it's like uh, you won't just be on fire, you'll be really on fire. It'll increase Why? your power for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's loopy, even they shouldn't fall for it, but at least he you know, uh, they added to the story. Yeah, uh, Reed wouldn't have phoned for this, but he's smart. But these are a bunch of science, science dunderheads, so they don't know any better. Yeah, that's the finger breaking. Yeah, I want the pink elephant. <laughs> oh, yeah, the pink. Uh, the pink out from uh, Dark Man. Yeah. yeah. Huh. See, then you can fly like an eagle. You can be invisible and talk at, uh, to people. Invisible. You could you could be this thing. You could be Jigsaw from Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, wow, this is a great yippee! I want to shrink me first. Shrink me? No, I want to be shrunken first. No, I want to be shrunken first. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm go- I, I want to be shrunken first. I'm going to punch the wall if I don't get to be shrunken first. Uh, Listen, you folks, away. haven't you heard of ladies first? Uh, all right. Wow. He laughs. You were laugh. laughing. Uh, so he shrinks a bucket down to nothingness. Um, meanwhile, he's trying to crack it with the mask. Put some of these oxygen tanks here. Blows it. And then um, he comes to talk to Alicia. Uh, 
who looks like Crystal there for a, for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, oh. She followed him. The pot. Oh, oh no, you broke that oh, sculpture of the thing, you stupid moron. You're like, <laughs> it, it took me like a month to make that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oops. There. Oh no, remove the mask. Uh, uh. All right, here, mean, meantime, here comes the four. All right, we're going to beat the crap out of Dr. Oh, Doom some more. So, it's like, yeah. hmm. Again, I Ben's must... face starting to still evolving a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I feel bad for this guy. Maybe something's going on here. Johnny, yeah, let's stop climbing on for no reason. Yeah, why are you on fire in Alicia's right apartment? Yeah. Alicia's apartment is not made of unstable molecules. <laughs> it's burning the floor. <laughs> You've killed everyone. Okay. And they come out, hey, gay, get away from my car, you kids. You beat it. This is this the first. Yeah, they mentioned Nancy Street. Yeah. Yeah, Nancy Street gets mentioned a couple times. Not in this yeah. one. No, yeah. All right. So they go back. They've got Dr. Doom, and they're going to do, they're going to each take. They're gonna take blood samples from each of them, and they're gonna uh, test it by heating up uh, heating up the blood and seeing which blood jumps. Oh no, wait, that's not this. <laughs> different that's thing. Not this one. It's a, that's a different thing, not this thing. Um, okay. So, so Doom, why is your uh, why is your cowl, your cape, and then and hood uh, different color than usual? I just thought I'd try something different. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm experimenting. Now here's a giant. Um, they they had to go to a specialty store to get these giant rulers. Um, yeah. it's, like, it's, it's like why do they need to be there? Like <laughs> it's like one of those YouTube videos where they're showing the scale. Just picked up the new X-Men 97 toys. They're six yeah. inch scale. Here's 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 like you know, here here's the Marvel Legends name more compared to the Marvel Legends thing. Thing is a little bit bigger, and they've got the ruler. No, it right. looks like the um the thing that the kids measure themselves against as they grow. You know, yeah. yes, it's it always really like a thing. And then you try, and then you try to go on your tippy toes. And you try to make the pencil go up. Like, yeah, it, it tries to go up a bit. <laughs> oh, I will. I'm a bit bigger. I'm up. <laughs> and it's like, oh, and then he trips him. That's that's rude. Did you think that was rude that he just tripped? Yeah, I think that's like super that's rude. Right I've got an idea. Weed. I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go throw a grenade in here. <laughs> Let's take a dynamite. So elaborate. Again, he's handling dynamite on fire. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, this is weird. And then he creates a mirage. No, no, he creates a fire mirage of dynamite. So it's like, oh, you know when there's miners and they use dynamite? I'm going to make a mirage. I'm going to make a heat mirage. Is that a thing? Like, Yes. There is a head there, though, telling us. Right, Thank you. Telling you. I can hear it now. Uh, Jack, make sure you keep Johnny flamed on in a lot of pages. The kids like to see that. They don't want to see Johnny without flames. Yeah. Sure well, he is right. I mean. <laughs> yeah, the kids are like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. We like it, but it is weird, weird. Um, weird. Dynamite. Oh, I'll jump on it. <laughs> Reed went in through the friggin' uh, like pipes here. <laughs> Oh no, I've got to stretch my way out of here. Oh, slithering up you the can't dynamite. Stretch. I'll save myself by slithering up the screen. Yeah, there we go. Testing. What? You're not the real Reed Richards. The real Reed Richards would have jumped on that grenade in five seconds because it wouldn't have hurt him because he just would have went and stretchy. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so why didn't you know that? Um, I don't know. Well, you're not really him. And then and then precisely that split second they swap. It's like, okay, so are you saying that? Everything they did was for no reason, or it's just they're supposed to be like it shocked Doctor Doom's mind into switching back or something. <laughs> um, oh. mm. sure. sure. Yeah, there I don't go. know why. I have, you got me. I have no exp and I have no explanations to give. And, and then I'm gonna blast you with this laser. Whoa! Well, I'm gonna shrink your ass. You shrink him and he dies. He's he's dead. Dead. What a way to go! Well, no, that's it. That was the last appearance of. What a way to go! go. This um, right. high-selling issue. I wish uh, I'd have brought him back. Yeah. Nineteen sixty-two. Love and kisses to my wonderful fans, Sue. Mm -hmm. 
with the big wow, five man. head on. The, the five <laughs> finger forehead. I don't, don't read this in Sue's forehead. <laughs> Yeah, she's got one of the best foreheads around in the in the entire business. She can crack a walnut for you. Like that. <laughs> oh, All right, man. This is impossible. The man of, this uh, is impossible. The world's greatest comic, comic magazine, The Fantastic Four. Number 11, cover, Jack Kirby, Dick Ayers, Stan Gilbert on the colors. A release date, November 1st, 1962. Cover date, February 19th. 63. Uh, I think. Created, sorry. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, written, created, and everything else, and penciled in art by uh, Jack King Kirby, Inc. Er, Dick Ayers, colorist Stan Goldberg, artist, artist, excuse me, letter, uh, Artie Simak, editor, so skills, So these uh, really were monthly, right? Like, uh, were they monthly from the very at beginning? At this point, or? they were, no, no, no. Yeah. They were, they were yeah. like a, more like a two, like a, every other Okay, because the last one was October, so he's saying this is November. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Wow. So, yeah, they were, they were up to a month. They were doing pretty well at this point. Yeah. I'm shocked uh, that it, that at the, like I mean that this early on uh, Marvel actually knew that there would be an internet an internet because they actually have www.marvel.com that is very for like you know how lots of law force. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Well, you know, Jack is this gonna is this a reprint? Um, yeah. So is this the first time that clobber in time is said? Because no. Did they say it prior to this? Uh, he he says he, they say he goes. I wanted to clobber him or something. Clobber somebody doesn't clobber in time. Is that if I remember correct? Uh, it was like issue twenty something or like twenty. Okay, so he says clobber though. So we're getting. He does say clobber. We're saying get. We're getting there. Um, there's the um, foreheads. I I I I'm, I'll have to double check, but pretty sure that the phrase. Has not started yet. But yeah, he he doesn't say it's clobber in time, but he says, "Oh, I wanted to clobber that guy" or something like that. Um, but it's not clobber in time. He doesn't say it's clobber in time. He doesn't say I, that. Should be noted uh, that the Grand Comics database disputes the inker of the cover, saying that it was uh, Al Hartley and not Dick Ayers, which would be, I mean, Al, he was mostly doing Archie stuff back then, but he did do some Marvel stuff. So possible. Anyway, sorry, I'm neither here nor there. Quagnar just messaged me. Oh, that's great, buddy. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. What is that? Uh, he, he put the uh, – I'll, 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 I'll try to save it uh, after. He, Quagnar did the, uh, did the stream. He put, the, he put this stream in Namor's view, in his, uh, in his viewfinder oh, cool. thing. Oh, yeah. You were saying about the uh, screen. I don't know mm. why that doesn't save properly. I'll, I'll do a snippet because – and then – it, it never saves properly from Twitter. Even Clobby, when you send me stuff, it doesn't save properly on here. I don't know why. Really? Um, oh, those why. pictures are like big JPEGs. And yeah. The DMs, it, the DMs. It, they, they can't. can't yeah, you can't save them, right? Yeah, I don't know why that I is. Can't. On a normal picture, like in, on a, in a tweet or like a post, I can't. But yeah. in a DM, I can't. I can't either. Yeah, that's weird. That's why I'll just have to like share the screen and show it when it's at the end. So I, I I just took a snip of it. I'll share the uh, I'll share this I'll, I'll share the picture. See, there's us there. <laughs> Wag, nice, nice. That's hilarious. Jude <clears throat> uh, Yes. All right. So, so the impossible go. man. Impossible man. You know what I I really like. I, I think I like this issue a lot because. I, it was kind of it just starts out pretty goofy with the uh you know they're going to point to the new issue of FF and that was kind of funny. But just the fact that they said, you know, again, they gave a little this is the one that gives a little bit of background about and it's kind of cute them, you know, seeing these kids. And uh, uh, uh you know, but giving some background for the first time really to the you know to the characters. Right. Uh was kind of interesting. Yeah, a lot of this they said it was responses to questions they got. Yes, I thought that yeah. was pretty cool. And they met, you know, they actually imagine. That. Oh my goodness! Wait a minute, a comic publisher actually listened to their fans <laughs> and did something with the fans. One. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Nah, that never happens. 
So it, it shows say, them like, doing their powers. I, I appreciate the Impossible Man here a lot more because the, the Impossible Man I grew up with, they were just they didn't know what to do with them. They had stupid stories. Like I remember the right. spring special um in like 89 or 90 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but here he's awesome. He's frail. it's like, what do you do with this guy? You know, mm -hmm. that was when they, you know, that, you know, Marvel see Marvel do that old that Jim. Uh, basically, that was because they wanted to have someone to act like Ambush Bug, even though right. he predates Ambush Bug big time. I, my favorite Impossible Man story, Marvel story is again FF 176, I just mentioned, right? That's a great guy. I love that yeah. crazy comic. George Perez art didn't, didn't hurt it at all. It's yeah. great. Um, but yeah, you know, you just got a little bit of again, it's a slice of life issue for the half of it, but yeah, it kind of just tells the some of the backstory, which I it's just kind of and there's Willie hey, Lumpkin. I, is that I, Willie Lumpkin? I, yeah, I Willie Lumpkin's first appearance. Wow, <laughs> I got I think he was always old. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, let me double check. I think it is his first, yeah. it is, it, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, we haven't, uh uh, but, but, hey, but, Thanks hey, so much, uh, guys. You guys are all, wow. It's the real Fantastic yeah. Four. This is the best. First, first yeah. over eight parents. Right. Here's some ladders for you. I don't know what's going on here. That's how you open the door. <laughs> that belt uh, key. I think what they mean by first Silver Age appearance may be ref a reference to the fact that he appeared in Marvels as oh. a young guy, as a youngster. Phil Sheldon, uh, Phil Sheldon's wife, when he met her as a young person. Oh, was, uh, right. better while she was dating some young guy named Willie Blumpkin, and she left him for Phil. Huh. And he was a little. Gregor resent it to me. Uh, I think that one's yeah. That I think that's a, that I think that's better, Quag. Oh, yeah, cool. that worked. That looked like it worked better. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, what? So now he's getting letters, and someone sent him a box to the thing, and then he gets punched in the face. Nancy Street is. Yeah, Nancy Street bums. I'm going to smash you up. Oh, no. Look what I'm doing with my brand new dumbbell. Yeah, you dumbbell. Here. <laughs> I like drink he just this. pours it on his hand. Yeah. You don't have to drink it. Just pour it on his damn hand. Yeah, pour it on his hand. Yeah, hand. You soak your feet in it. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back to normal. Whoa, you're back. Woo. They're calling him Ben a little bit more than by now. Yep. Not this thing all the time, but they still call it the thing. But not later that goes away. But right now they're just now starting where they call them Ben a little bit more. But I like how we learn, you know, about how they were actually good friends in college. Yeah. How you know Ben was a big football star. That and about their service in World War Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's and then Reed went off to. Yeah, you know they had issues of uh, Sergeant Fury and his Island Commandos. Um, and, and, you know, you know, Ben, uh, I think Ben was an issue, you know, oh, yeah. young Ben Grimm yeah. was an issue of something where, yeah, he and Reed both met Nick Fury. Oh, that is cool. I'm trying to remember when that was. That might have been retro done, though, because there was a Ben Grimm miniseries. I'll, to go. I'll, I'll let you I'll figure it out. But anyway, it was kind of cool. That, you know, they he, uh, knew those. They knew each other. I'm sure they met Logan at some point. Ben Grimm and Logan teaming up. <laughs> oh, yeah, so anyway, for sure. Retelling, soft retelling of the origin again. Yeah. This time in their uh, challengers of the unknown colors. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing. We were the challengers up. of. I mean, we were the fantastic. He's four. not quite as lumpy. He's got a rounded head now. Yeah. A thing, a human torch. I fly. No, I can't fly. <laughs> Why an invisible not? girl. You're vanishing because I'm an invisible girl. Wow, I'm stretching. I can reach a plane. It's <laughs> like, that plane. We've come a long way in this blue font of mine, in this blue background. It's unbelievable. It's like, yes, we have, and now I'm normal. I'll the give best, it a couple pages. i got to give, well, Stan let it happen, I guess, but uh, Jack, you know, uh, some credit here, considering it's pretty progressive at the time. Whereas uh, this was true. I mean, this was true. There were people, there were a lot of fans saying, you know, just making three of them. You know, there were, there were, obviously, there were very young readers. They were trashing the worth of Sue. Yeah. And they did a few pages defending that in a very, again, not like a finger wagging way so much or a, the kind of way that would be done now. And they're not calling people ists and phobes, whatever. 
They're just in the using the comic to instruct you. Hey, and they're pointing out things that happened. She saved them a few times. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is not like an ultra like feminist screed or anything, but it is saying, look, showing her value, showing that she's the, also, you know, pointing out about Abraham Lincoln's mother, about how she's the, you know, she's such a, she's so more more important. Than simply just running around fighting all the time, although she does her share as a member of the group. And um, I, again, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the way they did it here. Usually, you know, you could preach too much in a comic, but I kind of like the way they did it here. Maybe it's just me. No, they did it well because it's like reads like, yeah, you dumb kids, you stupid readers. Remember all this shit happened and she did stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot that because I'm a dumb kid. See, there you yeah. go. And they were kids. They were kids, and little girls weren't reading comics as much, but we both know that a lot of them did. were reading Legion, and mm -hmm. a lot of them were reading this probably, just not as as many as boys, but there were girls who read them. I mean, it was Legion, and all have a big, big, big girl following. Probably of all, like, mainstream superhero comics of the time, Legion had the biggest uh, female, you know, little girl following. So it's not as big as the boy following, but it was big, and, um, and had a big fandom. And, yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't know that I like how they stood up for her in this because she was a valuable member of the of the team, and then later, I mean, she was always like the heart and soul. Plus, so, she's like extremely powerful. Like, yeah, she gets that one like, right here. She could just turn invisible, but they do make her very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like okay, well, thanks for stepping up. For, uh, oh, thing turns back. No, I'm turning back. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, this totally sucks. You were cool before, but now you're a loser. Yep, I know. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. Oh no! He's dealing and coping better. And we got a happy birthday for Sue. Happy birthday to Sue! Happy birthday to Sue! Happy birthday! And his note: the preceding story is is our way of answering many of the interesting questions that our readers have written from time to time. In future issues, we shall attempt to pictorially comment. On other letters from you, our valued fans, you little shits. <laughs> yeah. Fini, or whatever. All right, now let's get to the impossible. Now, let's have some fun. Dun. Enough of our sermonizing. Let's have some funny fun fun. The so Impossible Man is on vacation on Earth. Planet yeah. pop up. To have some fun, fun, fun. All right. Daddy takes the thing. So he looks so point. humorous. How can he be such a menace? He's the yeah, most dangerous one. creature. In the galaxy. Looking way up. <laughs> yeah, the, the story, same oh. credits. There's a clobber. If we can't clobber him, who can? Clobber, clobber, clobber. Yeah, he always says clobber. Yeah. That's what eventually yeah. you just let him say it. So I, oh, yeah, I, I like it possible, man, but it's like you can't do much with him. I mean, this, this is a very silly story. Yeah. He's impossible. It's hey like guys, King of the Impossible. <laughs> yeah, King of the Impossible. Uh, give Give me some food. No, that's our food. You piece of crap. Yes, but I need no, food. No, rob a bank, butthole. Okay. Try it. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Impossible Man was a transformer. He could do anything. <laughs> He flies, hey, how's it going? Give me some money there, buddy. Whatever that, I like that sound effect when you play that. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. that one? Yeah. That one, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Can't get enough of it. So <laughs> give, give, me, uh, give me your money. Hey, pop. you taking I, some money. I want to say pop. You shot the money. It's as good as marked, you a-hole, you stupid, stupid a-hole. I have to blow the door. What do you want? <laughs> this is Can you fly, Bobby? Can you fly? So uh, every time he changes, it goes, I guess. Yeah, pop. Yeah. Pop goes pop. the weasel. Pop. We'll go for the prisoner. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, my God. He stole money. Pop. Hey, buddy, why did you draw those uh, dollar sign symbols on your bags? Well, of course, That's he's a like pig. Ah, female type earthling. Yes. Yeah. How adorable are you are you uh, after you, my dear. You which call him a wolf, but you know that's the situation. So. Dead or alive, you're coming alive. with me. You're coming with me. I know you. We killed you. You're dead. Okay. We killed you. 
You're dead. Possible you man you. is Marvel's vicious piddler. Yeah. 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 But yeah. less. But he's impossible. He is he's more harmless. What's going on? Something impossible is happening. That's how they do it in the movie. It's like, but this, but read, it's impossible. Yes, this impossible man uh, is terrorizing. You know that. That's how they did that with Silver Surfer. He's like, he goes, oh, he's got like a, a, a surfboard. So he's like, okay, this silver. And he's like, surfer. All right, yeah, okay, yeah. Silver surfer. It's like, when we some kind of a Suicide Squad. Yeah. <laughs> now, now like that, that was Will Smith in that stupid movie. Yeah. He's, uh, of course, all men are impossible. <laughs> when, yeah. when Chick, the chick would say that now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. what, you know, is that was good buddy. Improbable man is lives up like a different time. <laughs> yeah, improbable man. Improbable. I'm Practical better than man, you. Also pretty cool. Yeah, impractical. Yeah. <laughs> the imps. The impies. Yeah. Imp what on earth is he? Well, he's not from Earth, you. Dumbass. Yeah, he recorded all this crap and he gave us money and paid us, so we're good. No, you guys can don't bust, don't harass our customers. He's rich. Or he stole yeah. that money. Oops. He could turn himself into money. Yeah, he could turn himself into anything. Spend himself, I guess. I can turn into oh. anything better than you. <laughs> uh, I can become rocket ships. I can become hot dogs. Hey, buddy, give me. It's like. Look at that cake, man. That's great. Yeah, that's a good piece of cake. I like that. It's like, oh, I like this food. It's good. I like when food's drawn in a way I want to eat it. Yes. <laughs> impotent man. Yes, and Johnny's starting to like. Uh, only the impotent man can I, pass. Only, uh, only yeah. the impotent man <laughs> shall pass. The man, the impotent man. Oh, oh. Johnny's get, is starting to develop eyes in this flame state. I right. Yes, I saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> We're getting there. Do you see what I did there? Pop. No, I don't see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't see. That's the uh, dumbest thing. I, I do like the whole TV series, even though it's boring mostly. <laughs> but that's really well, dumb. Well, it was like the TV movie at the tail, tail, tail end, right? Yeah. The last one. The, I don't uh, see. Trial of the so the second last one, because the first one was Thor, the and then was it was the one. Yeah, Return, Trial, and and Death. death. Of. Yeah. Death when he just him. didn't have like a. They had this chick he was with. It was kind of a, I guess it was meant to be Black Widow, but they never call her that. She's like Natasha or something or other. And yeah. I don't know if she's Romanoff, Romanoff or not, but yeah, and it just dies. I'm like, well, that's a bummer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she's dead. Yeah. Walk it off, son. He died. He's like, wow, man, why? Anyway, yeah, he turned hey, into water and popped himself into a water balloon. What the pop, heck? Pop. I'm mortified. Yeah. Thought you earthlings were friendly and fine. Well, you know, yeah. I hate. I always can't stand it when people don't try to explain stuff. I mean, like they could have tried to explain. Look, if you just don't break any laws, come come hang out with us and we'll have fun. We'll show you how to have fun that way. But he's a harmless. I mean, he comes back sometimes. Yeah. yeah. He throws this at the same paper back in all of us. That uh, every time I see it, I would like to see it at the second of Charles. It was too expensive. Impossible. Huh. The impossible man trade paperback impossible. Oh. All right, so it's like he turns into flowers or something, or what is this? Nineteen chips or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop goes the weasel. Nope, Name? Pop, 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 puppians. The pop puppians. It's pop. It's pop puppians. The pop puppians. The pop puppians. The pop up puppians. It's like you. Um, I, my name is Ubi Dooba Dooby. I have the silliest name in the galaxy. <laughs> I haven't watched Thumb Wars in a long time. I gotta watch that again. I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the X Wing, and then he's like, I'm still naked. <laughs> Talking to Death Star. <laughs> Honey, you have a pee on your head. <laughs> oh my goodness. My name isn't Charlie. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. Gangway. Gangway. Pop. Ah, ah. That's like a Jack Kirby staple. Like, guy, scared out of his mind, guy in the corner. Like, yeah. Like, going, yeah, yeah. That is. That yeah. is. That yeah. is. Or, like, if there's army people, one guy's like looking back at you, like, oh, like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. We do the blit, like, ah. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Blair Witch is. Yeah. So. Oh, I, shouldn't have, I, I shouldn't have done the Blair Witch. Or the Nose Drips was like, it's all my fault. The Blair Witch Project was my idea. No, you know, it was I, your idea? This boring movie was your idea? I remember when everyone thought that was real. <laughs> I literally had conversations and said, guys, they can't show this in a, they can't charge no, you it's money. No, it's evidence. You can't show it. Yeah. It's like so. <laughs> Well, I remember people were so scared. I was like, the only the only scary thing about that movie was the amount of money we paid to see it in the theater. I'm yeah. like that. I, I, I remember what we I walked out. I was like, what? That was the worst. Movie <laughs> <laughs> Until I saw Paranormal Activity, and I was like, okay, this is the worst. Wow. I think I have like the first five or something in like a pack. You bought that pack. It I was saw like two dollars at, at Shoppers Drug Bar. I was like, I'll, I'll buy five of them for two. So, so you you overpaid by three dollars. <laughs> if you paid two dollars for that pack, you overpaid by three. <laughs> they they, they want to they they it should be called paranormal inactivity. But that's like, not even all of them. Like it's five, but it's not. It's I think they made like nine or something. Don't of those. people like those things or something? I don't know. Well, they they think they're spooky because if you believe in ghosts, which I don't, because they're not true. Uh, I, I, I love the, the TV spots for those where they yeah. show oh. that you're red, like, there's people in the audience going, oh, oh. <laughs> not if they, sh not if they showed it. my face. If it was my face, uh -huh. it'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nothing's happening. I don't, yeah. you wait 90 minutes for something to happen. That's, that's, that's paranormal activity. You're just waiting for something. And then it's like, I, and I don't count like, like you're like a figure moves in the background. I'm like, that does that that counts as nothing happening. I was like, oh, something moved in the background. I'm like that counts as nothing happening. <laughs> like if it's if it can't hurt, like if it can't hurt you, then who cares? The worst that that paranormal activity ghost does is move your keys. You're like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta make it to the movie. Crap, where's the uh -huh. key? All the paranormal activity ghost moved them. I'm like, oh They're moving. It's not scary, anyways. <laughs> that found, um, so I do like, I do like stuff found for you. I love going to a spook house, huh? Yeah, because if you get scared by someone, you're like, "Yeah, you got me, buddy. Yeah. Whatever. Like, uh, thanks. I paid money for this. Like, thanks." Careful, All right. You never become, become a comic book hero. Being car careful, says Ben. Ah, he becomes a big monster here. Look at this. It's freaking the number of the beast, man. Gangway. Oh. Psh, psh. oh, hanging on to the side here. Let's go. It's going to our bathtub. Thanks, they address that. They address the bathtub. Still, the get that. That's right. He steals a cab. I got it. He can turn himself into anything, but he wants to drive a cab. That's very mischievous. Pop. Pop Here comes the army. Then, then Call the, the army. Uh, Reed's plan. <laughs> it's funny. Listen Rob. to me, uh, Captain. This little squirt here, as you call him, is the most dangerous living creature on earth. Your weapons and your men will be powerless against him. Brother, you've been working too hard. You've popped your cork. <laughs> 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 All right, then he turns it. Life out of this. He said yeah. pop, get it? Pop? Yeah. Pop, oh yeah, there you go, pop. pop. Hey, he turned himself into a nuclear device. Trust yeah, me, that, I know what I'm doing. Work? Yeah. I, don't, I have no idea. So I'm going to cause the holocaust right now. You try to mess with me. It's not much of an explosion. Yeah, it's nuke like, it is. It's not really well. Nuke. It's way over the earth, though. When you look I at, it's like I don't know how far it. it uh, I he guess threw it was it. fine. Yeah, maybe he didn't know what a nuke really was. And yeah. I like how he flies down like a bat thingy. Batman, da, 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 da. he's coming back. Flame on! Got to make a flame off like things with him. That's cool. Look at that. Oof. Oh my God. Hey, you, fe you fell like an idiot. I knew you like me. It's like, nope. Ha 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 ha. This is the most wonderful fun I've ever had. It's like, okay, I've got another idea. I'm going to tell it to you in the blue, in the blue background uh, bubble. Okay. Tell it. Go, go. Just don't question me. Just leave him alone. And he's like, here, here's the golden egg here. We don't care. And he jumps on him with this weird. It's like Beetlejuice. Lagoon, like creature in black lagoon thing. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, you guys don't pay attention to me. It's like, okay, guys, don't do anything. 
If we fight him, he just gets more pumped up for stuff. What? We're supposed to stand around and do nothing? What if he comes over and kicks my ass? Well, I'll just stand there and take it. Turn the other cheek. It's like, never thought Reed Richards would be a, a cowardly piece of trash. Uh, yeah, everyone's quick to label everyone yellow or coward in the 60s. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, dude, he's got a plan. Yeah. Come, let's attack these guys with guns. Okay, let's come up with a plan. Coward! It's like, okay, hold on a second. You <laughs> come up with a yellow! You tell me when. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, were you good? <laughs> no, it's a question of intelligence, so your opinion has very little relevance. <laughs> yes, indeed, Avon. Avon. That's my boy Avon. Avon. Yeah. Kerr Avon. His name is the Kerr, best, too. Kerr Gulen Avon. Kerr, Kerr, yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's Kerr, uh, according to Paul Derry, he made it. Kerr is short for Kerr Gulen, which means Kerr description. Gr Right, Kurt Gulen, yeah, Avon calling, Avon calling, yeah, yeah, we, we, he, 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 he should have said that in one of the, uh, <laughs> yes, you know, when I first heard his name, I'm like, Avon, like, did the cosmetics, maybe, but did they have them over there when Terry Nation created them, or he might have changed the name, he might not have known about that name. Oh, yeah, probably said, I didn't know there was gonna be a cosmetics company doing that now. <laughs> I always watch Paul Darrow interviews, so it's like there's one where they where they talk about the uh, uh, Avon um, uh, a terrible uh, aspect, and like he's like he goes I went to Terry Nation, he's like oh what's the, any any backstory for for Avon? He's like no, he's like well, did, did, did you do anything for the character? Did you expand the character? Is there? He's like no, he's like well maybe someone you know someone should write a book on. It. He's like I don't have time. Terry Nation's like I don't have time to write these books. <laughs> he's like, and then he's like if. Paul, you want to write something about Avon? You write it. And Paul's like, I got okay. Well, then I will write something. All right, we'll go write. It. It's just yeah. like Terry Nation's the best. He's like, well, when you came up with this character, did you have anything in mind? He's like, no. <laughs> 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 well, what about his backstory? He's like, no, I got nothing. It's like I don't know. He's wow. a, he's just he's just computer hacker guy. It's like okay, well, <laughs> you should write a book. He's like, I don't have time to write these books. <laughs> he's like, Paul, if you want to do something, you go write it. <laughs> he's like, all right, I will write it. Well, then go write it. Wow. Terry Nation's the greatest person ever. It's like, like first that of all, he okay. hates everyone because whatever characters you love, he will make them die in the worst ways just to make fun of you, just to spite you. Like he doesn't care. Oh, I love this character. Good. We're gonna destroy this guy. So it's like you're stupid. It's like he does it for all of his creations. Uh look, they're smoking. Yeah, yep. they are it was, smoking. A good, it, was a, it was a pretty good book. It was okay. I, I accept gonna, that origin. That, I could I accept that as his background. I'm Although get the, Afterlife had some different some differences to it, but it was pretty good too. Yeah, I have to get it. Um, if you can get Afterlife, I, I kind of recommend it. It's a little bit of a cynical look at Avon for me, but it's still kind of an interesting book. Hmm. My wife's almost finished those Odyssey books. She's really liking them a lot. Odyssey. She finished the first book, the, the the William Shatner. Um, oh, 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 the um, oh, the the, the Kirk books. Kirk books. So she finished the first two. She loved it. So she's on book three now. Oh, nice, cool. Let me know what she thinks. Yeah. All right, she, well, she's loving it. She's like, like every, she's telling me every. I basically read the books because she tells me everything that happens. Nice, I like. Um, and she knows everything that happened in Fist of the North Star. Oh, cool. Because <laughs> I just tell her everything. Um, all right, so it's like, oh, I mean, you guys are boring. I'm going to go home and I'm going to give you a bad. Yes. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to give you a bad review on Google. I'm going to tell everybody not to visit Earth anymore, and Earth now you can pop. Meet, pop. Yeah. Pop. Uh, pop. We Earth showed sucks. him by boring his ass. Maybe we should put that in our stratagem log there. Read, uh, villains come to the planet, aliens we don't like, bore the shit out of them. <laughs> or the living hell out of them. Namor, yeah, baby. That's yes. awesome. I shall make a movie about my enemies to destroy them. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, Disney will take, Disney will uh, live by my advantage, in my, uh, my uh, <clears throat> example later. Prince Namor. Namor. The mighty yeah. submariner, the mighty, know, like, the mighty producer, the mighty producer man. Da, da, da. All Ooh. right. Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater. He can go flying through the air. Yeah, yep. buddy. Oh man. Oh, Has my. anyone ever seen this cover before today? Uh, I'm, no, just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> uh, the world's greatest comic magazine, Fantastic for a number. Well, cover Jack Kirby and Dick what? Ayers on the inks with the Stan Goldberg coloring. Release date December 10th, 
1962, covered in March 1963. Writer, creator, penciler, Jack Kane Kirby, inker, Dick Ayers, colorist, Stan Goldberg, letterer, Artie Simak, editor, Irving Forbush. So let's see. All right. There we go, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who is the Hulk? Oh, wait, sorry. The Incredible. There, oh. there really was a Forbush? Am I no. missing no, something? Was, okay. No, no Irving <laughs> Forbush was that made up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah Forbush man. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. just threw him in there for the hell of it. Okay, thanks. I, I don't know why brain fire is like, wait, uh, was it based on a real guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> uh, no. no I don't, well, who knows? It may have been based on somebody. But... Yeah. Well, no one right, was but, on their but, hands. So. Yeah, there was no bullpen. Before we do this last issue, just remember everybody, make sure you're subscribed to Sean um, and yes. Clubber Times in case if you're not. Uh, and uh, we will do a thing at the end, but I want to I want to put it up in now. So while we have people uh, in the chat, I think everyone on here is already everyone's like, I don't see anybody new here that we haven't seen before. And uh, yes. so, but if you're watching this later on, please make sure you're subscribed to Sean and Clobby. Uh, their link is in this chat in the description of all my videos um and in this video and also in the live chat if you're if you're replaying it all right in one second i'll destroy them all i don't know if that actually happens though all right and uh, uh man here we start a classic here we start one of the biggest uh legends of all comics thing hulk thing, thing hulk. hulk you there Ah, uh, look, my dear, a company of infantrymen here in New York. What, what, what's, what, what's going on here? Well, yeah. like, what the heck? He picks this guy up. That's that's assault. Yeah, that's assault yeah, right there. Dude, man, he is. I think it's an antisocial man. <laughs> Good Lord, old, just an old dude like that. Come on, Ben. Did did you see that character there? He lifted up that guy like he was a feather. I bet you it's the incredible it's the, it's the incredible hulk. I, I bet you it's the incredible hulk. No, the incredible hulk is a big huge monster who's normally naked. No, no, no. This guy's the incredible hulk. I know it. Let's attack him. All right. No, yeah. wait. Sergeant God Carter wait. told us to look for the hulk. We gotta shoot at him. If we see anybody with superpowers, Gomer. That's not the Hulk. It's not even the yeah. <laughs> Shoot him. Oh, oh, they got the cool like uh um sci-fi weaponry. Someone has to carry the cable and then someone else has to shoot the gun. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like those guys, that's like the stormtroopers in uh in Empire and um yeah. oh. and then what and I, I like these kinds of weapons where there's like yeah, it's like two or three guys are required. Yeah. <laughs> it made no sense though, because why did they think it might be the Hulk when General Ross knew the Hulk was way out in the desert somewhere. And is green. So And is green. Know. But he wasn't <laughs> yeah. there with them. They'd never seen him. I got that part. But yeah. Why are they even there in New York? Nah. Because they know the Hulk is a... Uh, remember they said they knew because all that crap. Well, he tells the Fantastic Four about what's going on out there and stuff. Yeah. So this doesn't make a lot of sense right here. I don't know. It, does, it doesn't... Doesn't make any sense. Um, any sense. Throw this. This is a cool weapon, though. That's they cool, fire. Yeah. They fire this thing, and it's like all these wires, and just tangles them up. But he breaks them. That's what I call a uh, 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 an OPP one panel problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like whoosh, broken. Okay, that was it. They've never <laughs> seen the Hulk. I understand that, but I mean, I don't know what they're looking for him in New York for. Yeah, gas them. Throw the gas in there. Use some gas. Oh, sorry about that uh, thing. Uh, is this Alicia? Oh, yeah, that's Alicia. She has shorter you. hair. Oh, yeah. I did my hair for you. <laughs> I preferred you with longer hair. Wow. Well, you try and tell me you brainless lump of lard? <laughs> 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 you think I was the Hulk, you idiot. All right, let's go back to my... Uh, let's Brunch. continue on our date here. Then he just breaks the... Day. He's, a, yeah. he's destructive. He breaks the elevator and... But then he climbs up the damn elevator shaft. <laughs> uh, well, here it comes. Ben, Ben, Ben. Yeah, I'm sitting down here. Ah. Now, Ben, you've been breaking our shit recently. Sue's not very happy. 
that's right. I'm not very happy at all about this. Well, oh yeah. Well, you know, too bad. But hey, General Johnny. Ross wants to talk to us. Johnny, would you please turn your flame off? Yeah. She's hot in here, man. You bet you know the AC bills, dude. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, Reed, what about John? He's on fire all the time. He's burnt everything. Yeah, look like, at the floor should be burning. <laughs> well, it's unstable molecules. I guess the floor is fine, but still, it's like, what if he yeah. actually shakes hands by mistake? Like, hey, shake off. Nice to meet you. Ow! Oh, it's ghost yeah. rules. How can a ghost stand on the floor? Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like that Star Trek the Next Generation episode where like a face through the the it's like um, they walk around Jordy and the what's your face yeah. and Row and yeah. Row yeah yeah it's like how come they're not sticking right through the hall like they're walking the around and stuff yeah. yes anyway yeah I got you wow that's the Knights who say knee right there <laughs> Th thank you Knights who say knee. Uh, <laughs> The knee gallery. I'm gonna call you the knee gallery. All right. It just, <laughs> it just. It's a. It's a. Shut up. We don't want to do We made the episode. We didn't think about it. Okay. Sorry. So I'm talking about Ross. I'm an owl hole. I'm a bigger a hole as Ben Graham. In fact. I'm the biggest of all of the a holes. Super human strength. Fooey. I could probably make mincemeat of them. You may get your shirts to prove. This word here is a picture of the Hulk. Oh, my God. How did you get him to pose for that? Well, we offered him some cookies. And while he was eating them, We, we that, that's why there's some crumbs on his chin. It's like, <laughs> awesome. And, hey, Torch, any reason why you're flying around the room? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I guess I would be, too. I don't know. You're wasting flame, though. It's like, yeah, it's like now. Hear this. This is the Hulk. We put a target on him to, to, so that it reinforces the idea that we want to kill him. Now, Human Torch, I need you to keep flying around here with your flames on because it's ice cold in here and the air con and the heater's busted. Check. All right. They're in the desert. You're making it worse. <laughs> we found all this garbage here. Well, actually, not so, in the desert yet. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is where we dispose of our garbage. Right here. So if you have anything to throw out, throw it over here in this pile of stuff. <laughs> oh, Reed, they dispose of their garbage in such a terrible manner. The environment. Quiet, Sue. We're trying to get this comic going here. <laughs> I don't know why it becomes blue. All Like, it's so weird. One panel how, is just blue. How is he the most terrifying creature ever? Uh, she's ever seen, uh, Sue. I mean, he's just a big green dude. I mean, I mean, Ben, I mean, he doesn't even look that bad when you think about it compared to... And it's not like he's me. I don't know. Yeah, in these, days, in these days, he's not like a big muscly, def defined guy. He's just a big lug. Like, he just looks like a bar fly or yeah. something. You know, right. yeah, he's just angry. Yeah, he's just an angry dude. Yeah. And so, okay, this has always confused me. Green hair or black hair? Oh, dear. Because sometimes it, it looks like, and, and I know sometimes they did this with the Bill Bixby show as well, in that right. they put a green was... wig on. Um, yeah, yeah. Film, yeah. And, then, yeah. and it was black sometimes. I'm like, well, I prefer black hair. I don't like the green hair thing. Yeah, I think it's kind of blackish or dark, but if anything, if not, then maybe dark uh, green yeah. or something. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm here yet. Weird, 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 <laughs> Are you a naysayer, Sean? You're a naysayer. I am the one that says nay. Yeah. So anywhere, hey, let's. What do you do, guys? Do well, what is this randomness? Like, you, oh yeah, you think the Hulk's? Now listen oh, up, here, boys. About what they're gonna do to him? Yeah, the Hulk is gonna kick like your that, ass. You better be ready for him. Oh really, eh? Well, I'm gonna take the Hulk. And smash them down like this. Oh, yeah? And I'm going to flame on, and I'm going to twist them into I'm this tornado of fire. Guns. And then I'm going to put them in a maze. Oh, yeah? Uh, and then I'm going to put my up. hands together, and human torch is going to fly he's through making, them. He's making the pilot wings <laughs> or whatever. The freaking <laughs> Superman 64 freaking hoop. <laughs> like, it's like... <laughs> I, I don't know how... I, mean, I don't know how doing the YMCA is going <laughs> well, is, is, is to... Is oh, do the YMCA. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, okay, so I, mean, I don't... Your power is sometimes very useless. Like, shut yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> one, 
No, I'm gonna, no, he's like, I'm going to turn into a, into this. And then when he walks through drop. here, I'm going to drop. And he'll just stay off. like that forever. And <laughs> it'll be okay. Now, listen, all that stuff was bullshit right there. You better come <laughs> <laughs> you. What do you say, her mom? <laughs> you better, you better, you better, you better I didn't get a her mom from that guy. I actually yeah. said her mom. Yeah. Yeah. I let Stan wrote that word. You, you better get a real plan together. <laughs> Stop bullshit. Stop pussyfooting around and get a real plan going. <laughs> and then, and then, like things yeah. like so upset, he just grabs Johnny and throws him off. Like, I was like what is going on? <laughs> oh, the All right, the, the debut, right, yeah. the debut. Yes, oh, now this man. looks cool. Fantastic car, I love it. That like looks that, awesome. That that, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what the movie that was based on. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's the real fantastic like car. This is from the the cartoon one, was the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, this is the one that splits up. This splits up, yeah. This is the best one. Yeah, yeah. This is this is cool. Well, obviously they modify it over the years, but it, it's the principle of this one. Yeah, it's great. Now, now, listen, you made fun of me doing the YMCA, uh, Mister uh, uh, General Ross, but well, look at our new car. Wow, that's a great car. Yeah. Well, I think the Hulk will destroy that car in like two seconds, though. It's like, yes, but hold on, let me tell you about it. Top speed and all this other crap. Look, it can fly. It well, fast, but they can't tell him how fast it goes. Yeah, there is no. You know the bit in the uh, airplane says, uh, when she asks, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Then um, and we'll be coming in. Well, I'm coming from out of the north. We're under their radar. And when he tells her all this stuff, she goes, when you be coming back? Can't tell you that. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all this other stuff wasn't classified. This is, uh, yeah, and like, okay, so it's just like, oh yeah, I, I like Ross. He's like, oh, you think you're hot shit? Hey, eh? what if it rains, huh? What if it rains, Invisible Woman? Now, me. what are you gonna do if it rains? Oh, we got this the shield in here. Oh, okay. Now that we're all private in here, baby. Uh, hey, baby. A long, uh, it's a long ride to Arizona or wherever we're going. Back to New Mexico. Going to be, yeah. so Here we are. Let's take the scenic route. Do you do? Doctor Banner has black hair. Doctor Banner. Who's, who's Banner now? Man in the race. Not Robert. Turn. Hey, Phantom. <laughs> Let me see. While you're doing that, I'm gonna check when uh, what issue of Hulk is out at this point. Yeah. So to turn to the Hulk, he has to go to the machine. I started reading Hulk from I, I read Hulk one through six or whatever, and then I started with um, Tales, whichever it was when Hulk appeared again. And I was reading every appearance of the Hulk, and Stephen and I were doing uh, what we call the Gamma Zone, where we talked about every Hulk, like the what we're doing now with Fantastic Four. We were doing it for Hulk, um, and um, there it, it's there, like i mean there's so many different kind of thought processes or processes whatever for hulk like oh it'll be nighttime any turns um oh he has to go on this machine or yeah, whatever that was the first right so it's so i don't know what hulk issue it is yeah, I'll, um, I'll tell you in a minute wow this is the same month in this month uh the 12, uh, ff number 12 came out First, uh, Tales of Suspense 39, first Iron Man. Oh, wow. Came out. Strange Tales. Oh, wow. Came out with, with a thing and a thing and torch. Let's see. B -b 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 -b. I know Hulk was out at this point. I don't know if it was every month, but uh, not this month. It was last month. It may not have been monthly yet. I'll tell you in a sec. But anyway, go if you continue. Yeah, all right. You. So, yeah. Um, okay, so then this guy comes in. I wonder if this guy will be important. Okay, well, not that month, but the previous month they were on issue yeah. number five. Oh, okay. So. Six was the last one, I think, right? Six wow. was the last one at that point. So they probably were was only born by monthly. And so, yeah, let me see what number six came out. Yeah, so this takes place between Hulk number five and Hulk number six. Yes, because six will be out in January of 63. So there we go. Now, Reed, this is Dr. Banner here. Oh, don't get up. Uh, I'll just stretch my hand and shake hands with you. 
Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm a I'm a, I'm I'm a balding uh, guy in a purple uh, shirt. I'm very weird. Um, gasp! What what's going on? Who are you guys? Oh, did we frighten you there? You call me? Uh, no, no. You know, everything's good. Every, everything's good. We're 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 fed up with you. It's like what? Okay, my wallet. I dropped my wallet because it. I got so scared it fell out of my pocket. That's just so random. And then I don't understand why he's he uses flames. A, a flame lasso. You know what that else is, came out? You know what else came out yeah. this month? Amazing Spider-Man number one. Wow! What a oh, month! Wow. FF twelve. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Sales has been thirty-nine. I mean, lordy. That's and, crazy. Yeah. So, so he's got he's got a flame lasso. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the wallet is like one step away from him. Look, look here. Yeah. Yeah. What, just, like, just leaves it. Like, just pick it up. You're lazy. It, why doesn't that burn the wallet? No. Uh, Does it touch the wallet? It's, I don't know. Is this telekinesis with the flame? I mean, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so he gets the wallet and then thing breaks the door down. The thing just breaks doors down. Ooh, Call the phone. Uh, Part three. Who is the wrecker? Well, right now it's thing because he's wrecked several things. Um whoosh, give me that gun of yours. What, what, what's going on here? Thing stop beating up people. You there, you civilians are be are idiots. They didn't mean any harm, sir. It's Clark Kent. Yeah, I didn't know Clark Kent was in this one. <laughs> I'm Rick Jones, bitch. <laughs> 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 Look, I, I I love this. He rips his encyclopedia. The wrecker is Ben Grimm. Yeah, he grabs his is is yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, like limited edition encyclopedias and rips them all in half. Well, I hate books. That, ah. <laughs> those are my damn uh, telephone books were signed by the man who invented the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell. He <laughs> personally signed each one of those to me. Don't worry, sir. We'll compensate you. How are you going to compensate me when that guy's not around to sign those books again? <laughs> you can't compensate shit. That's all I got to tell you. Clark, Reed, how are you? It's like, well, you got a strong grip there. Uh, if almost un unearthly, really. If if I was there, no, 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 no. It's just, it's just normal. I'm Rick Jones. I'm just here. I don't have a cowboy hat in this series. I have one later, though. <laughs> Doesn't he have the cowboy hat in that cartoon? Which cartoon? Uh, the Rick know. Jones. Yeah, Rick Jones is a cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, um, the amazing. Oh, he's one. not amazing friends with the '80s cartoon. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's got the cowboy hat. Oh right. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I I have a confession. I never liked Rick Jones. They yeah, nobody likes him. That's not that's not a confession. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I, nobody likes yeah. Rick Jones. I did. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I mean, what? I never got the memo. I just liked them without checking with you first. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> did you get that memo? We're gonna we're, let, let me send you another copy of that memo. Okay. Just to make sure that you have it. Uh, I mean, I like a better than Snapper Car. Sorry. Oh. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Nobody like. Oh, oh yeah. nobody like. Nobody like Snapper Car either. No, no I mean, one liked him. Rick Jones was really stupid in the origin. What yeah, he he's such a goof. It was kind of, but yeah, he needed. They needed him to make give an excuse for Doc yeah, Banner yeah, yeah, to yeah. turn into the Hulk, which is fine. Yeah. And then he ran around with the Avengers and all this stuff, you know. But yeah, yeah. I mean, and he's caught in Marvel with the I kind of, yeah, fans he was like for a while. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, get right. I get where you're coming from. I, I I read you on FM. Yeah, he's just a placeholder guy. They put him in anything. He was a bomb or whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, yeah. anyway. <laughs> Here's your here. I found this wallet. There's the mouth now. Oh, eyes and mouth, right? Yeah, we're getting there, man. Look, he's forming. Yeah, he's forming that thing. Um, and then Doc Banner's hair is changing again a little bit, at least. Yeah, now it's brown. brown now it was black at the beginning of this one. Blah blah blah. Stuff happens. Okay, but the wrecker, whoever he is, is trying to stop my work. Hmm. They think it's the Hulk. Well, obviously it's not because the Hulk is a good guy. 
It's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Let's look, look. Let's look at this guy's wallet. Uh, why did you put bleach on it? And make it white. His wallet was brown earlier. Oh no, it's just temporary. It'll go back to brown soon. I've got to tell the Hulk. He'll know what to do. Oh, you're gonna tell the Hulk, eh? Oh, how do you like them apples? Oh no, it's a it's a gun. You're the wrecker. You're the wrecker. That's right. And I've got a crowbar, and I'm, it's from as it's from Asgard, and it's gonna destroy everything. Wait a minute, no, that's not, not that you're wrecker. Not, you're not that wrecker, you idiot. Uh, Damn you thing, that's my favorite rocket you busted up. Quiet down. We're trying to, you know, do something here. We're doing a we're working on a Kirby machine. It's very complicated. There's lots of wires. Uh, you know, wires I have to stuff I don't know what it does or where it goes, but I, I'll fix it up. I'm just pretending to fix stuff just so I look useful. Oh now I see what they were doing. They no, it was monthly, Hulk was. And they skipped an, an issue and let because the Hulk was in this one. Because mm. it was a monthly one, I'm, I'm, I'm backtracking right now. Go ahead. <laughs> you usually don't find a saboteur who's so careless with his wallet. Hmm. <laughs> I dropped my wallet. Damn it, it says sa my, my saboteur card is in there. <laughs> hey, what's this? A saboteur card? Yes. Don't what do you think this means? Home. Damn it, he's a saboteur. Don't leave home without it. It's like that uh, Amazing <laughs> Spider Man, I think the first one. Where he uh he leaves his recorder. First of all, it's the two thousands and he has like a Walkman as a recorder. And it has property Peter of Peter Park. Parker right on. <laughs> I uh, thought that was a mistake or something when I saw the movie. I was like, what the hell? That was really <laughs> silly. That was awful. Yeah, he's there and it's like Peter Parker is Spider Man. It's like or Spider Man stole someone's uh recorder that said Peter Parker on it. That could be the Parker and Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Parker. What's Park. the connection? I <laughs> know is all there is no Spider-Man. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. I guess we're, I guess we're not obligated to cover to cover um, Strange Tales that was going on at the same time, huh? but still one day we'll, we'll go back and look at it. Right. Yeah. Uh, Starting around issue number seven, Johnny, you know, started and sometimes the thing started having adventures and strange tales. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the Saboteur Express card. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. He has a Saboteur Express card, which means he's getting points every time he does sabotage. Every time he sabotages <laughs> something. <laughs> every time. Every time you sabotage something, collect points. If you're going to sabotage, you may as well have the card. It's like you're doing it anyways. You're just missing out on points. You get air miles. Air miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like do you, do you, it's like I sabotaged something last week. Yeah, sir. I'm sorry. You have 72 hours to report any sabotage. After that, we really can't give you the points for it. Well, come on, man. It was it was tough. I was running from the cops. I had to hide out in cheap hotels. Let me, can I speak to your manager? Oh, hi, sir. Yeah, you know it's 72 hours. No, no, I, I know, but I did sabotage something. He's like, well, we'll give you half the points. Okay, thanks. <sighs> All right. Flame on. <laughs> Wham. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh, he falls on he falls on his back here, rubbery back. You okay thing? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, this is all just like nonsense stuff right like it's it, it's like huh. they don't believe they don't believe bruce. bruce is like saying the hulk is not the wrecker they don't believe him because he's um, always they don't believe trouble. him and again so, this is hulk who's like talks like, oh, yeah. like the dirt. Oh, now i need to go back and read these let me read the hulk issues yeah because you know he's just like he, he's triggering the transformation with machine in this one yeah i read these and i um, lots i read them so yeah, when Steve and I were doing our Gamma Zone, we did Hulk updates and stuff, and we were reading all these, and it's like, yeah, it, he does step on them. And it was, I was, I was so stunned because I just, I hadn't even like I hadn't read those like in like forever, and I, like I didn't, I didn't yeah, even either. remember. It was so weird. Uh, been forever. Uh, and I had reprints of them, so I have one of them, a lot yeah. of different reprints. <laughs> but so he again, steps Hulk, on a machine. Hulk's just like a jerk. Hulk, Hulk's like you know, he's not. He's not like childlike Hulk. No, right. he's a dick. Yeah. Which I love, by the way. I'm sorry. I love I love child Hulk. Because that's what yeah, I, like. I like. That when too. I started reading the Hulk, that's what he was. I didn't I didn't get these till later. Or we, you know. 
just the way it was for me. And that's what right. it was. You know? Well, okay, here he is. Turns into the Hulk going down this tunnel, and here's the cover. Right there. Oh, he's, they're coming. They're coming. Whoosh, I'll crush you like a fee. It's him, the Hulk. <laughs> oh, no, it's the Hulk. Where's my... Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I, I was thinking, I'm like, because you're sitting there waiting and you're like, okay, when is, um, like, like when, it, you know, he's, he hasn't arrived yet, right? Like, it's like you're waiting, you're like, where is the, like, you know, it's like Hulk's going to eventually get here. It's like, uh, and then I was thinking of this. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen any of these movies, Sean, or no? Have you seen any of them? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, lo I loan them to you, right? Yeah, you loan them to okay. me. Yeah. I swear <laughs> to God. Claudia, I'm going to send you the link to this guy. It's, five, it's just a five-minute video, and he goes through the entire movie of all the stupid things. I swear to God. I have never cried from laughing so which, much. Which as movie, movie again? They're, they're just a bunch of bad movies that this guy makes. His name is Neil Breen. Oh, okay. Oh, he makes these bad movies. He thinks they're good. Uh, and wow. and Space Ice is the this guy called Space Ice on YouTube makes fun of them. Oh, okay. And and I swear to God, it's the funniest thing on in, on the internet. Uh, I cannot stop crying from laughter. It's so funny. Um. Anyways, uh, okay. So here we go. Dun dun dun. Right away, pow. Here comes Johnny. This looks good. We're really close, eh? Like, look at that. That's that's like almost perfect. And then he smashes this thing and dows them with water, which is great. He breaks up out of here. Reed tries to like grab him and I guess like twist him up. And then this is massive. They're just like they're destroying they're destroying everything here. Throws this freaking building on him. Uh, I gotta save Rick. Whoosh jumps. And then Fant uh, Mr. Fantastic uh, twists him. And Hulk gets out of this by becoming like a top. Like he spins out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. And then he's doing the Y of the YMCA. Oh, you know Space Ice? Yes, I love it. Yeah. He's great. Um, and he'll make fun of he makes fun of Seagal movies. Clobby, you're gonna you're gonna love Space Ice. He makes fun of Seagal movies and he goes through the whole movie and it's so funny. And like I would never make fun of those, would I? Oh, oh yeah, you probably would. Oh, I probably have. I've watched the well, I've watched one or two. Oh, he really makes fun of them badly though, and it's so funny. I swear, it's like it's like I can't. I, I I like my wife's asleep and I'm watching them. I'm just trying to like not die from laughter. At, like how funny it is. Uh, anyway, so this is it, man. He does the slap and takes them all out. But the thing is, there bunches them right through the wall here. And they throw it throws this friggin' rickshaw thing at him. Go back to wrestling moves. <sighs> yeah, this so this was weird. This this energy beam comes out and nails them. Yes. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell was that? So we didn't get a definitive not our biggest battle yet, but it's a start. It's a start, and, it, and we didn't nobody really lost out, like. No, things you know, Hulk I mean, again because he didn't have the whole group there. I always like it when it's just you know, Ben and Hulk. Hulk. And thing. Yeah. So they they go they go through here and there you go. Anna, who takes out the big monster, the big robot though. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. And then Sue so, again being a key, you know, being very helpful, using your powers well, being smart. Yeah. Yeah, she nailed this guy. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah flying crossbody. Whoosh! Off the ropes. He got a shot in. Hey, he got sucker punched and he got one back on. He grabs the guy. It's like, oh, here he is, eh? The, he was a red. What? I love that. I love how they hated commies back then, and it could say it in comics. Yeah. 
<laughs> you commie. He's Tommy. a commie. It's like Captain America, Tommy Smasher. Yeah. So they're, they're like, oh, my God, but where's the Hulk? He's here, laying, getting up, jumping away, going back into his cave, and he's all right. Rick, you're okay. Yep, we're all good. We took care of business. It wasn't the Hulk after all, General, you dumbass. It's like you're, you're always wrong about the, about the Hulk. Yes, he is. Always wrong. General Ross is actually quite a, a stinking bastard. Like, Oh, he's horrible. And he's horrible. Like, going back and reading those Hulk issues, you're like, you're like, F this guy. Like, he's a, he's a, <laughs> man, he's a dick. Yeah. Uh, Johnny's still on fire. Now, Johnny, why are you still on fire at my base here? There's I lots of explosives. Look so like, no, I actually forgot to put my uniform on. So. Look, they're giving them the salute while he's in flames. Yes, he's, he's flaming them. <laughs> the end. Yeah, buddy. Well, I think that's my favorite issue of the night, anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the favorite. Yeah, for sure. Hands down, but for obvious reasons. So um, we're going to eventually get to an annual, but not yet, right? I think yeah, well, it'll be a while. It'll be quite, it'll be like, oh, I mean, the first annual was it to like 1966 or something? Maybe? Yeah, so we got, we got a ways to go. Uh, let's take a quick look at episode um, four. So episode I mean, four, I got the graphic. Here's episode four next week. I checked it a while back, but I can't remember now. But it's, it's a good ways ahead. All right, we got Red Ghost. We got Subby again. Well, I mean, we got Mad Thinker. And then yeah, we and get Doom, Doom and Ant-Man. Oh, and my Man. goodness. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, what are your thoughts on uh, Psycho Man? Because I was at oh, Toys R Us, and they have uh -huh. the Psycho Man figure, and he's marked down to like 20 bucks. So I for you, Clobby. I love him. I love Psycho yeah, One of my favorites. Okay, so yeah, he's like about 13 bucks or something. That's pretty good. I got that one in the High Evolutionary that they did too. I got High Evolutionary. Yeah, I love he's... Psycho Man. I have the old Toy Biz Psycho Man, but I got the new one cheap mm. as well. It went, finally went down. So yeah. I, yeah, I think, yeah, of course, he had some great great comics. Yeah, Rice and Talbot were a bunch of Jake They were. They definitely were. And then that's what he became, of course, when he becomes Red Hulk. And that, right. they, someone, I heard something. I don't know if it's true or not, so I'm spoilery. But they say that there's some toys coming out for the new Captain Falcon movie. That it's spoiler things about the Red Hulk, because if we didn't know, they were going to do that. Yeah, duh. You know, right? Uh, does he look like Harrison Ford? <laughs> like a big, what, muscled up Harrison Ford or something? I don't know. But they just said it. it, it I guess it's not. It's out of the cat's out of the bag with it. But I, I can't. I still love him. Harrison Ford. Such a jake off. What but do I say? So, oh no, what's that? What's that? What's that called? Captain Captain America, America Brave, New World. Brave New World. But I still love I, that someone a, asked him about the uh, are you going to be the Red Hulk? And he said, a, a red, He said, A what? A red what? A red what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Like, it, like when he was asked by one of those idiot hosts about something to do with a, an elaborate question about Han and the just back when the stupid Star Wars uh, sequel were out. This yeah. with the character, he goes, he says, I just work here, man. <laughs> he does not give a crap. No, he just wants his paycheck. That's there it. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is here? It's uh who's Ruth? Uh I, I don't know. Baby Ruth. No, I don't know. <laughs> who's that? Is that that's not um Black Widow. Um, maybe. Oh, you know who this is? This is that um, Sharon Carter in this. Sharon Carter, I bet you. Yeah. Uh, they ruined her in that piece of crap other Falcon show. They made her yeah. a murdering piece of trash. And yes. Someone was saying, "Oh, don't worry, she's going to be a squirrel." Well, no, they didn't. Remember yeah, that that sucked. That yeah. was awful. I liked I liked Sharon Carter. I really liked that actress. She's, yeah, she's uh, Canadian. She's well, she's wonderful too, and yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, beautiful, and she was really cool. And, and she uh, was awesome, and they ruined her. Both those movies, and they destroyed her like they did everybody else in that filthy show. And then at least they didn't even have the decency to make her a scroll. So you go, okay, it's, she's not, you know, not really evil, but she's evil. Right. She murdered Batrock again. Why would you in the killing Batrock? Stupid. 
I liked Batroc in that Winter Soldier movie. He was yeah, pretty neat. He was pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, they killed him too. I know that. Jerk offs, man. They I, kill I, good villains, right? But they keep that little idiot, pippy long stocking villain that they right. had in a in that little like a little wafer little girl who's like they give that with the super soldier sharing, but it doesn't affect her body. She still looks like a little like a a little pipsqueak. And it's like, but no, she's got superpowers because reasons. All right. Everybody else gets turned to a big old muscle bound thingy, but she gets. Uh, I yeah. I I despise that I show. So, I've paid it so much I can't even. That's about that's the one I hate the most. There yeah. may be worse ones on a technical level, objectively, maybe, but that's the one I despise because that one had the the most potential because you had those two guys who were so cool. They could have been in a really cool show. Yeah. More potential was wasted there than any of the other, in my opinion. Oh, the first two episodes when they went and teamed up, and then it was Battlestone and yeah, it was, okay. um, but, it was yeah. U.S. Agent or whatever, and Battlestone, John Walker, U.S. Agent, and the Battle Star, yeah, Battlestar or whatever, Battlestar. The two of them went and teamed up, and then it was like they both went after the same convoy, and they're like, Oh, you know, like, so you're like, Oh, who's this, you know, the salt and pepper team that's gonna do it first, right? And then they teamed up. I was like, This is badass, this is awesome. And then, literally, episode three, I'm like, Wow, that was really not good that was awful and then worse worse mm -hmm. worse and worse worse intolerable trash yeah and then the good yeah no finish your thing yeah i was gonna say some of the stuff with bucky was interesting at the beginning about his you know dealing with all the, the things he's done and stuff you could do a story about that maybe or yeah. expound upon that more but uh, that was pretty fascinating and mm -hmm. heartbreaking but nah, let's just have him let's just uh focus on idiot lousy villains and other, oh, so, so anyway. Yeah, no, that was that was terrible. Oh, oh, thanks so much, our Captain America, the Winter Soldier is the best. Yes, I agree. Um, I, 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 I like part one a lot too. I don't oh, know, it's tough. I do too. Yeah, part one I, uh, is that, especially the origin bit. That's the most beautiful telling of an origin of any superhero ever in a movie, in my opinion. Except for maybe that one. Except for that one, yeah. Well, actually. It's closer than that one in a sense. That is true. I mean, yeah. I, as much as I love that movie, uh, Crystal Krypton always kind of makes me. Yeah. I, kinda, I like Buck Rogers Krypton, but I'm, I'm fine with Crystal Krypton. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I. Uh, um, Winter Soldier is is definitely like top like four or whatever five like easy. My, I really if for me Chris if Chris Evans is in it that's probably in my tops. Other than that, I do like both Doctor Strange movies, even though part two people don't like. I do like both Doctor Strange movies and like Ant Man one. Part One. I like the first Doctor Strange. I love the Avengers movies with some a lot of caveats on Endgame. Of course, those Captain America movies. Also. Yeah, and yeah, the first Ant Man's pretty cool. I don't, yeah, first Ant Man. What else is any good in there? I actually don't mind the Incredible Hulk. I that was. I don't mind that either, except for okay. Abomination looks crap. Can't can't they go yeah. back and just re CGI that to the I real Abomination? Know. He looks like yeah. shit. Yeah, and then it'd be cool because the real Abomination is an amazing. I've got that super big one, that uh, that big figure. Like I don't know, it's like massive. It's like it's like half my shelf oh, here. It's, right. it's like wow, Love and it. it's so good. And, and and it's like whoa. So yeah, but yeah, Cap one, Cap two, Cap three, Avengers one, two, three. Um. I like both yeah, Doctor first, Strange movies. I like Ant Man, and I I don't, I don't want to say End Game. End Game's not my top ten. No. Um, after that, I'm trying to think what other one do I really like. I like the, the Guardians movies are fun if they're not that. Famous. Guardians, fun. yeah, yeah. Joe Dog, what's but, going on? Hey New Joe Dog, what's up, dude? Yeah, I'd say Guardians Part One is in the top ten. Maybe that would be it. That would be my ten. I think right there. So they're mostly yeah. just Captain America movies. Yeah, I'm look. I'm, I'm with you, dude. The caps. They're all my whole top ten is all of them are event, Captain America and Avengers movies and one Guardians and I didn't really like the first Doctor Strange and after that it gets kind of after you get out of the, my top ten, you get into a lot of okay movies down to a lot of really blah flawed movies and then into some horrible movies. Yeah, Wagner. I know I, a lot of people love Iron Man and I think people of a certain generation that yeah. grew up with it, but it's a fairly meager movie. It's like not much happens. Mm, um, well, Iron Man takes forever to be Iron Man. Um, I agree with I agree with there's not a lot to the story. It's just sort of like 
Sure. I think, I think he sells it pretty well, though. I like him. Yeah. I got it very highly rated because I think it did. My only criticism, because I don't disagree with you entirely, Sean, but my only criticism is that I needed more Iron Man scenes. Right, yeah. In other words, He's building the suit for so for long. long. Yeah. Agreed. At, at the time, it was taking the, the material seriously, and that was revolutionary, uh, which is really bad. But Here's um, yeah. But that's the thing. You watch it now, it's like, well, can't you do a better, more substantive film than this? Like, well, there, And there's the thing. See, like you just said, Sean, I mean, Jay, you said he takes so long. That might have I would have been better about that if when he finally gets to it we get it, at least a minimum anywhere to ten another fifteen minutes of gray Iron Man stuff. Once yeah. take, then I won't mind the taking so long because it's an origin. And I, but that said, it's a it's you can say the same thing about Captain America the uh, first Avenger in the sense that it's beautiful and wonderful, fantastic. Then it ends in a hurry. Uh, Michael yeah. Francis and I have talked about this. Like he has a lot of problems with that movie because it almost ends in a montage. And it really has, to my biggest problem with that movie, is it doesn't give you enough in the last half hour to say, all right, it's Captain America, and he's established a long career as Captain America before it finally ends. It just ends, it, it's like it's in a hurry to end after the big meat of the film. I think yeah. it's really, its last act is really chopped up. Very similar to what you're saying about Iron Man for me. But I, all that said, it's so much good stuff. I don't, I, I just give it the, the pass and love it. Yeah, I'm looking at my my spreadsheet I did. So for me, it's the two Captain America movies. You can interchange them. You can say one is better. Like maybe I I would say Winter Soldier is the better film, but I maybe I like Part One better because I like I like Steve so much in it. Yeah. Um, I then I've got the two Avengers movies. I got the two Doctor Strange movies, Guardians One, Ant Man, and then I've got uh, Civil War. That's my ten. I got so that's my top ten. Winter Soldier, Infinity War, First Avengers movie, and Iron Man. I know something. Yeah. yeah. And then First Avenger, Age of Ultron, which I love more than most people. I, put I like Endgame, it. I got Endgame in there, even though it doesn't deserve to be. I, I hate it, love it at the same time. I got Civil War and Guardians one, and then Doctor Strange. Actually, I'm in my top ten. Doctor, I really like the first Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. Um, second one. Hmm. First I don't know. I, I, you know, everyone's. I know everyone's. I know you're kind of the the easiest on it. I don't know what it is, and I and I and, and my wife and I rewatched it, and then Steve rewatched it, and then our buddy Dan rewatched it, and we're all like, I really like this movie. I don't know what the. I don't know if Sean, yeah. if you had a chance to rewatch Dog Multiverse of Madness. I'll watch it again uh, one day. Yeah, my ten. Well, I can change this. This is from the the stream you had. Oh yes, um, it's like Captain America: uh, Civil War is ten. Um. Me too. Not, nine opinion. is Doctor Strange. Eight is uh, Age of Ultron. Uh, seven is uh, Ant Man. Six is Guardian, Guardians. One. Five is Doctor Strange. Two. Yeah. Uh, four is Infinity wow. War. Three is Avengers. Then Captain America: Winter Soldier. Then Captain America is number one. That was my list. That wow. you just was that your list as well? That's my list. Yeah. Well, what we had the same. We had the exact same list because I have it on my on my. Uh, Which uh -huh. one is number one? Uh, the first Avenger. First uh, Avenger, yeah, yeah, because yeah. the heart of it—that's all. It just uh, like, uh, yeah, I love, I love, love the movie. I can, I can love a movie and find it flawed at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Where at other times I can love a movie and think it's not flawed. Don't get me wrong, but like I say, Winter Soldier does, that has almost no flaws to me. But there are plenty of them in Worst Avenger, and I just love it. I Man, got it in my number five, so I understand. But hey, you'd be surprised. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Messy Messiness. I got all the way down at twenty. But that's that's above a lot of other ones, so, and it's I give it a one star and a half because it's just. Oh, but my my by the way my scale is uh, five at five, so not right. five stars. So. Yeah, but, yeah. I just think there's so much crazy magic use in it that like I can't help but be like super pumped up. And there's a witch versus a sorcerer that's super epic you know and like like shooting all that stuff. You know like, it's it, crazy. Girl? Yeah, making the whole shit that continued over from WandaVision making Wanda the. Evil and all this other yeah. shit. Well, she's like evil, evil, evil in the comics. She's evil in the comics, yeah. I don't like that either. I hate that. John yeah. Byrne. Uh, here we got Dark Phoenix Saga, which is really good, right? Right. And Byrne two times. Oh, the, they do the, the same thing to Wanda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then they do the same thing uh, to Sue Richards later. I'm sick of right. it. I don't, I don't like it. You're right in the comics. I didn't like it in there. but So I guess that's why I didn't like it here. No, that's no, but okay. 
the the thing with Clob, I always have to whenever Clobby gives a review, I have to put an asterisk next to your review because you're coming from the point of view that you always come from the point of view of your personal experience with these things. The oh, asterisk yeah. on your yeah. name, like when someone else says Doctor Strange sucks they're coming from a perspective of just saying it sucks because everyone is saying it sucks and they don't oh, actually have a real reason. When you yeah. have a reason, like I don't yeah. like the Kevin Smith He-Man because I love the old He-Man cartoon. They're saying it's continuing from this. It's not continuing. It trashes the characters. It's just like Wakanda forever. I don't right. like that Namor is trash. I don't like, I, I've got nothing wrong. T'Challa is not in it. So I have many problems that are the nerdy guy problems, but the movie is also bad too. So I've got two reviews. The movie in a bubble yeah. and the comic. So Eternals is a boring, awful movie that's also a horrible adaptation. Yes. Agreed. So it's it's doubly bad, right? Like, whereas yeah. Wakanda Forever is also doubly bad. Those are two doubly bad movies, right? It, it's like something like, I don't know, what's like an, another example? Like Iron Man three is, is is almost doubly bad because it's a bad it's not a great movie for me and it messes up with Mandarin so that totally sucks right like right so it's weird like you're if, yeah if you don't like Wanda being a villain then you don't like them from the comic books well, but most people are just saying random stuff like oh well why is this happening why it's like well they explained this in the movies they've ex they showed her becoming bad slowly as well too right they didn't just make it up and she was a villain. What's uh, sorry? We're missing in the chat. Uh, Wakanda Forever is just Jay Reality House of House of Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, Housewives of Wakanda, Wakanda, yeah. Multiple Wakanda, times. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we. So what? Claude is saying he doesn't like that anyway. So if he doesn't like that, he's not gonna like it in the movie. Obviously, if yeah. you don't like it yeah. in general. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's funny you mentioned, but actually, since it falls at twenty, right? It's that's at the cusp of. I don't hate it. I just, right. I have a lot of problems with it. And I think there's a lot of things that really annoy me. Everything after 20, it, it borders from hate to hate, 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 hate. Right. So that's like the Black Widows and the Captain Marvels yeah, so and the Love and Thunders and the. Right. And after the, that, you get into stuff like. Uh, Shang-Chi and. You get to like, maybe like uh, Quantum Mania and Marvels and Black Panther, right. both of them. Shang-Chi, that kind of love and blunder and Captain Marvel. That's when it gets to I hate, hey, 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 hate them. Not flawed. I think they're horrible trash. I put Captain Marvel over Black Panther. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I, I think, well, I love, because I like T'Challa better. Although that did ruin Marvel, and I like him a lot too, so I hate him both. So. Yeah, hate see, him. but the thing is, the, okay, Marvel was not in the movie. T'Challa oh. was bad in the movie, so I'd rather yeah. not have the guy in the movie. They did. They called right? Annette, Bilding, Annette Bedding was considered Marvel. Yeah, that's oh yeah. Was she though? I don't think she was. They said I don't, she was. Was they, they? Did they say that she was? Yes, sir. They're, they're gonna ignore all that. I, well, I'm yeah. still gonna put it over Black Panther because they, they did worse uh, to her because by making her a net bidding. Yeah. Just leave him out of it. Maybe it'd have been less annoying. But horrible. Yeah. Yeah. They should. Yeah. Well, they they they, they should. Yeah. That movie got ma messed. The up, average yeah. layman's not gonna care. It's like they 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 tried to weave in so much Marvel stuff into Phase Four that they've done nothing with, like like um Star Fox. Like he's you know he's, right. he's gone. You saw him for two <laughs> seconds at the end of yeah. at Eternals. Uh, or whatever, right? it's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Any of the Eternals are are like non-existent. Whenever they were like <laughs> queuing up with, with um Shang Chi with like. His bracelets transmitting to space did nothing. You know, it, <laughs> it's it's all dead to me. I, I I'm happy with what we got for phase one to three because they they did make a lot of these characters um, household names that they weren't before. You know, and and like Thanos mm -hmm. is a thing with the gauntlet and the snapping and like that. Everyone knows that now. It's crazy to me. Yeah. Um, but I think they should have stopped at some point. I know they weren't going to. It's it's a uh, it's a studio. They want to run it into the ground, right? Yes. But, right. Yeah. And I yeah. say, starting with this anniversary fest, we run the city into the ground. Into the ground. Why yeah. don't we hear this from Grissom? Um, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Like I don't care about anything. I have so yeah. I explained my hype levels to Steve last night because we we're talking about like my hype levels. When I say I have zero, zero means I'm like. I, I don't, I have zero interest, right? Like I just don't care. Right. But if Sean 
sees the movie and says, oh, it's really good, then I'll watch it. But yeah. I'm at negative interest. So negative interest is and I what? need to have, let's say if we say Sean, Sean can't just say, oh, I like it. Sean needs to explain to me why I don't like, like it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that's the, that's negative. He well enough to do that, yeah. Right. So there's like, ne there's different interest levels, right? Like right. I'm, I, I, Superman, I'm kind of at a zero. Yeah. Um, what's the, Fantastic Four? Yeah, I'm, I'm, done. I'm three negatives. Yes, so with, so with each negative level, I need an extra person. Yeah. So, so uh, now I need, I need <laughs> Clobby and Sean and Steven to all say, oh, no, 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 no. This is really, <laughs> it's well, like, we're not yeah. going to, and you know that. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Great, right? man. We can try. I don't think we can do it with a straight face anyway. No, so, so it's like it's like there's different levels of the of the hype levels. No. It's like, the, like no, Superman, I, I'm at zero. Like I'm I, gonna go I see told, it. I told J Man like um that that S symbol thing. Like it's not egregious by itself, but Correct. it's just the last straw. That I turned a corner with that. I care nothing about this movie. I'm yeah, buying I'm the Superman man. comics. I love all that stuff. I'm reading the old stuff. I have the old omnibuses. Mm -hmm. That Superman is the comics. I really don't care about the movies anymore. I don't care about that. Like, I know that the movies drive the franchise forward and that everyone just knows movies. And 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 the problem is that it then affects the comics. Like, you remember when Spider-Man, all of a sudden his his um web shooters were or organic because that's the way it was in the movies. And I was like, what the mm -hmm. hell? You've tampered with the comics now. But... Yeah. I really don't care. I don't care about. I know this movie will not be good. It'll be disappointing. I've heard nothing good about this, no. and and Fantastic Four. There's no way they're gonna make a no good way. movie. And I'm I'm tired of everyone blaming fans for everything, and just yes. like and making you feel bad for loving the hobby. People that aren't even in the hobby. It's like let me enjoy my comics and my characters in peace. If I'm telling you that the character isn't this, don't tell me that I'm wrong because I know I'm not. Don't gaslight me and make me feel bad for the very thing I'm investing in. You're not investing in it, so shut up. That's oh, I, 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 yeah. I'm done with all of this. Well said. I'm so done. so you bought this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody who's talking about this thing. So I posted my this symbol the S sucks. I'm calling it S. I'm not calling it the shield. That's a, yeah. it's, it's a this is a shield. I'm calling it the S. So the S on his chest is garbage. Well, like it, not in itself, as you said, but just in context with everything else. It's like this is not yeah. a Kingdom Come movie. Why is this happening? Just do the normal yeah. S. And and people are saying, oh, I'm like, yeah, but you know what? I'm buying this. I've been buying this for a long, long time. I have the right to say I don't like this s and you have the right to shut your mouth and, and say yeah you're okay i i can't <laughs> because the s on there this is not the s that this is this is not the s that, I'm, I, that we're the getting. Movie. I'm right i'm just saying i'm buying a comic i've been right. i've been supporting superman financially they go on twitter and say oh i love this it's like okay show me your i'm sorry i'm gonna have to pull the collection back. card show me your collection yeah yeah i need to they see your have, superman. They, don't like, buy, they don't buy crap they, they don't buy anything the people who yell the loudest at fans don't buy shit. They're not Correct. fans. They're not collectors. They're not collectors, right? Never. They never bought it. They just want you to get in line with their bullshit, and that's that. And if you don't, yeah. you're in this. You know, you're all those bad things they like to call you. And you're right, Sean, about the fan thing. Look, um, how can you, you can blame fans all day long? As well as I checked, they don't call you. They don't call me. They don't call Jay or anybody else. So we have no. Whatever happens on that screen, we don't get a say in it. Right. We're not like those those people, those kids who wrote to Stan and Jack in that comic we talked about tonight, and they yeah. do a whole comic story telling us what we want to know, answering our questions, and right. giving us explanations about things. That don't happen. And it never mm -hmm. will. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a great – I'll say this and we'll end off. Um, there's a great clip. I clipped this for my wife. My wife bought, um, you know, I don't know if you know who Tezuka is. Tezuka is a, uh, he's a Japanese guy. He did Astro Boy. So Astro yeah, Boy yeah, is yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Tezuka? Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah. 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 So, so he, they, they reprinted, they've been reprinting his collections, right? So they reprint, whoa, what happened there? That was that. No, so, I should, right now. Uh, so, so they reprint his collections and some of the art in it has depictions of certain you know, ra different races 
and it's right. drawn of that time because it's old. Right. They oh. wrote the best. They're like, we are not altering these these pictures. These pictures right. paint a picture of the time period. Tezuka is not an R word. He is he is like you know what he has been for human rights from the beginning of his career and has written about these. The fact is that a lot of these stories have to do with this, and he. And yes, those drawings are, are, you know, shown in that way because that was the art style of that time. Yeah. For that ego. And they're like, we are not changing. Like they wrote it. This is Viz or whoever. Produ- yeah. Wrote, I was like, that is awesome. Like, Can I? And yeah. she has yeah, a physical yeah, book. Yeah. So I took a picture yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. And it was like the best thing I ever read. It was just like, yeah, we're not changing it. Like yeah. Good. get over it. It that, too bad. Yeah. And I was like, it was well, done so beautifully. And it's like, perfect. Like I'm talking, Japan is, Japan laughs at every, you, you, yeah. for, they're, they're laughing at, at you guys down there the most. They're laughing at us pretty good too. America's getting most of the laughter. Yeah. We're getting yeah. laughed at a little bit, but, but they're it. super laughing. DC mm-hmm. Comics, well, we present, we print a lot of old Captain Marvel comics. Right. Them because of certain things. Right. right. I know, I know, I know. I know what yeah. It no, I know. Yeah. Yep. That, and that, that's the, re- well, that was the reprint of, this current thing that I'm talking about now, and they're like, we're reprinting it. We don't care. They're like, we're not changing the art too bad. None you assholes buy it anyway. What's complaining? I don't even know how they find out about it unless someone tells them because they don't know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that is weird. How do they know? It's always <laughs> interesting to me. Like, someone will find it, for example, let's say they'll DC will say, well, you know what? We're not going to reprint these old Captain Marvel comics from Fawcett like we were doing. We're plan- they had a plan, dude. They had a plan. And then somehow it got to them that they had these old, you know, depictions of uh, certain people that were, I guess, some, you know, at the time there were some, you know, stereotypes and whatever happened yeah. in the art. I'm going, I don't know who, t- someone, some jackass told them about it because they wouldn't know. The idiots who make those decisions, they don't know shit about comics. Someone told them, and some assets of historian said, well, you know what? If you guys print this, you're going to get some, some backlash from who? Not the people that want to buy them. They're going to buy them. They're just going to buy them. No one That's cares. just ass, ass heads who were, oh, we've got the, no, you can't reprint all that stuff. No, it's just a problematic. No. The people who yeah, want to buy no. there. In the course of that, make them waste processes. It means that they're, they just want to buy those comics. They want to have them. Right. No, no, yeah. In the real world, nobody's thinking like that either, too. That's the other thing. You ask anybody, no, like nobody's thinking about this. My building is super multiracial, big time, and a right. lot. And I've got we've so I'm I'm the clear. I'm like I'm. You're looking at me versus everyone else in my building. I may as well be see through. That's how great. Like, <laughs> and every single person is cool with me. Talk to a guy this in the elevator every time I go up the elevator. Guys come in. Hey, we chat chit chat the whole way through. There's a few people. Like, like dark, dark, and they're totally cool. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they see the tattoos, like, oh man, I was wearing a shirt of, of, of I, I think I had a Badger shirt, which is Wolverine, like the, uh, from Wolverine. And she's yeah, like, oh, is that Wolverine's little girls? Like, well, no, it's like a kind of a clone. Oh, and then it's like, su- like they don't care. They just want to talk superheroes. Everybody that sees me, they just want to talk superheroes. There was a guy in the elevator. They were talking Star Trek. As I left, the elevator was like, live long and prosper. It's like, you too, man. Yeah. And it's like, it's like <laughs> he got so excited. You could tell that he wanted to talk more, but you know, the elevator. They're, they're racializing yeah. fandom like Hollywood and, and, yeah. is. And it's Maybe bullshit. Not. It's, it's like, bullshit. The, the guy who owns the comic shop I go to is way darker than me. You know, yeah. it, it, it's like, it, this, this is, there, there's no race to this. There's, there's like, no race to I guarantee, I guarantee yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. So, all right, guys, that'll be it. So next week we're doing the next four. That's going to be really. That looks. That that's going to be a little, a lot of fun. Uh, Monday, boom, Legion, man, these are going to be a lot yeah. of fun too. So that'll be good. Same. All right, um, do you guys? I put your links in the chat. You want to? Uh, Thanks, Bobby. Where are you? Are you doing anything uh, tonight? Uh, or? Not tonight. I'm, I'm look, Nick and the boys are going to do their show. And- um, um they've got a, a, a comic shop uh nick's comic shop has got the people from flip city magazine on there reviewing them but i'm going to take cool. off the rest of the night i got things to do but they're going to be up in the morning to go to a show to hang out with my gulf coast geek friends but uh tomorrow night i will be on saturday night star trek with awesome. Miguel, 9 p.m central Sandra time four more scintillating episodes star <laughs> trek Adventure. and then sunday night on the great park the overseas channel uh the sunday night geekery 10 p.m eastern standard time and your week as a geek and thank you for having me. But as always, I love Fantastic Fridays. Awesome. Thank you. Sean, what's going on? I just posted the uh, Fourth World Volume 2 Omnibus um, overview. I saw that. 
Uh, I, I just put chapters up a, a few hours ago, so there you go. I'll help you out. You could chapter right to the superpowers, J Man, if you want. Oh crap! Well, I, I already chaptered myself. I, I um I oh, just yeah. I just kept clicking until I could find where it was. Yeah, like yeah. I, I I found it. Um, and I've got comic reviews coming. I just got my new comics today, and I have uh, three new hardcovers um today <laughs> that I'm gonna show off as well. It's a uh, it's uh, Atlas Comics Library vol uh, mm. Volume Two. That's cool. Um, Jack Kamen collection, pretty awesome. Wow, we did, uh, EC comic stuff. What yeah, the hell? that's that. crazy. Yeah, greatness. Um, and uh, I I love these Disney masters. So oh, yeah, um, this is cool. uh, Italian stuff. It's pretty cool. So I'll show those uh, on my channel eventually this week. Excellent, man. You always awesome. get the cool stuff, dude. <laughs> I, that, I love is, that is cool. All right, everybody. Well, that will do it for Fantastic Fridays this time. And you got a little bit of a bonus treat here of a, a, a minor rant. Um, yes. Yeah, little, little you, got, you, got, you got a comic book rant? Yeah, a little comic geeking. Extra I fun. changed the background. I changed it to the Fortress of Solitude so we can be safe and protected while we... <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a safe space for us Excellent. to uh, air our grievances. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Good night, everybody. Hey friends, hey friends, you've, you've just, just been just listening, listening to J-Man, J-Man. and he, he is, is the, the smartest, smartest person, person who ever lived. lived. So, make so make sure you, sure you like, like and subscribe. subscribe.